but oh, that only means they tolerate you. And when they, when it, I didn't realize when they meant that they tolerate where you are for right now didn't mean that if you actually got close to them out, they just take a chomp out of you. That's crazy. I know that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna go throw out my peach pit. I'll be right back. Your peach? What? Peach pit. We got a peach. <laughs> I'm having an apple. He's having a peach. Goomba's I'm having. having... Goomba's Dude, having. I've got my. Go ahead. Go, go, go. No, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. No, I, was just, I was gonna say I got my I've got my bag of chips that I can uh, inappropriately open up and eat in the middle of combat. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna do a tweet real fast to hype up the unexpectables. All right. I uh, I I think that I think that's good branding there, Taka. You like my you like my new rebrand of all good? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. I'm I'm wondering what's where it came from. Uh oh, that's actually a long story. But anyways, I'll tell you about it later in person probably, and you'll be like, that makes sense. We okay. <laughs> I, th I think you've officially made it when uh, Goomba calls you a weeb. I think, there's a, I think you're officially like, wow, you're a fucking weeaboo. Goomba, is it, are you, Goomba, are you, is it my you... Goomba, is it my Hero Academia or Boku no Hero Academia or Pineapple on Pizza? What is it? Which, which is dude, the right thing dude. to say? It is, it is, it is Boku no Pineapple Academia. No, it's not! It is not what you just said. You are a liar, sir. You are a liar and a charlatan, and I, I will not have you besmirch the great Team Four Star name. Too late, buddy. The chat is having a very <laughs> measured and decent conversation about this. <laughs> Everything is the same, except All Might is a pineapple. Episode 10. D&D. Uh, &D, the unexpected. Fuck! I really fucked this up. D&D. &D, okay, D&D. &D. The, the unexpected. Shut up. The balls. Not saying anything. All these people criticizing me. Y'all doing it in your head. But I, we're thinking it. Yes, and that's... <laughs> Trying to autocorrect unacceptable to respectable. That's just... That's not... That's not okay. Un, the unrespectables? No, the... The, <laughs> the unrespectables. Probably also not accurate. The disrespectables. Yeah. Pineapple pizza is amazing. By pineapple academia. <laughs> Let's boku no pineapple on pizza academia. <laughs> I, Twitter, to, by the way, everyone on Twitter, please take all that and tweet at Kaiser Neko all those jokes. <laughs> it's important. I want him to flip open his phone and go, who said what? <laughs> who said Who said it? Who said it? Uh, we're, just oh. gonna, we're just gonna do a slow warm here, guys. We're trying to get everyone's energy going here while I, I type out. All right, I'm back. I mean, like, He's hold back. on. Hold on. No, I, need to make, I need to go to my Twitch real fast and grab the name of my Twitch account. I need to copy it. Need to pay, just everyone settle. Hold this chat needs to settle. Everyone go to at Kaiser Neko. Definitely tweet him that. Scott loves being involved. <laughs> Scott loves being involved. It's his favorite thing. Oh, poor Scott. See, don't see, say poor. That I know what I don't say poor. I know how much he makes. Okay, don't say poor. I know how much he makes. <laughs> well that, off, is, decently well off, Kaiser Neko. Is that why you left him out of the camping trip? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, we're going to the woods. I don't want to bring a furry man. What? That's racist. Oh, fuck. How is that racist? racist? How is that racist? <laughs> it's the internet, Taka. Everything is racist. I have chosen. I have chosen. I have. Cho they, no, the new word for that is problematic. But anyways, I have chosen this a gif of the Green Ranger smacking a villain in the balls over and over again with a stick because that's what it felt like in the last combat from the last episode with Borky being whacked. Oh my up. god, you big Thank fucking baby! Your job is to tank. Uh, vet fair Naticus Black. Thank you for the bits. And uh, Suta wrong. Ota, thank you for the sub. I think it's my job to tank, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, it seems to be. <laughs> oh, do I? Did I actually come back with a cup of coffee to hear someone bitching about what happened last se uh, session? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I want to feel. Like I, mean, I, I want to feel what it's like to be you. <laughs> oh I mean, shit! Zol Zenhawk. Wow. Necro baby, I thought I, her heart was dead and buried. Necro baby, when then you thought it, it back to my life. Necro baby, I've never felt so alive. Necro baby, I came and said our love all right. Necro baby, but if it, fuck, fuck, I, I lost it. I lost it in the chat. All right, five thousand bits. Thank you so much for the bits. That was that. That's my fault because I drew that. I drew a picture of Mel and I called her Necro baby. Yeah, it's not a bad name. <laughs> I love how it just blasted what, what little bits there were in the cup just completely out. <laughs> we had so many cupcakes in there, it was nice. Oh, if you oh, for those of you that haven't been on my stream side, Aki will not shut up about cupcakes in the cup. Like to a point where the stream just devolved into let's make Aki squeal by okay, three, two, one, uh, Tagamo with the freaking five hundred bits. Okay. Sorry. 
I got derailed there for a minute. No, nah, everyone's being way too much. No, everyone's um, being way too nice. I will say, I, I, I did some, I messed up some stuff with my medicine, so I'm a little bit lethargic. I'm gonna try and keep my energy up, but my. Why don't you care? Of... Why don't you care about the stream anymore? Today? It's because you're a big wig rolling with the at roleplay people. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I should probably mention that yeah, too. Oh, yes, I'd like you to mention it if you're at least here on stream. That'd be really great. Um, I, for those of you who don't stick up, like who don't keep up with the, the Twitter or whatever, um, I'm going to be doing a one-off for the role play people, uh, over on the 19th on their channel, I'll be running a one-off that's set in Alabast actually. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really, really fun. Who are, who is in your game? Please tell the chat who's in your game. Oh God, don't do this to me. Um, just, just it's it. me, just... it's me, JP. I'm just, I, I'm scared. I'm not going to remember their names. No. Um, it's me, JP. Uh, Pocket, I believe her name is, um, Grip, Grippin, Grippin, Drippin, or Strippin, one of those three. Strippin. A uh, Strippin, okay, so, sorry. Um, and Bike Man, his name is Bike Man, and he's, he's, he's very fun. Bikeman. I won't say anything about what's going on because I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys, uh, yes. if you guys are free on that Saturday, come check it out. It'd be really cool. Definitely follow, uh, at underscore the, un the unexpectables so you can uh follow on that because you, you need to tweet, tweet about that on the unexpectables so you, you, you get to yeah yeah i will i will i think it's really um, cool that you're able oh, to base case thank you i think it's really cool that you're able uh to play base it in the world you've created yep oh hello nutcase oh nutcase. Uh -huh. nutcase is living up to the name did you know that do you know nutcase is has had a has had a healthy marriage of 10 years did you know that guys we're learning so much today all right. Uh, anyways, just a couple quick Is updates. Everybody, oh, couple quick okay. updates. Uh, let's pour one out to uh, a, a, a fellow D and D campaign. Let's pour one out uh, to the Adventure Zone, which just wrapped up their uh, their campaign at sixty nine episodes. Dab on dab. Uh, Damn. It's, yeah. No. There. They. I believe there. You said they were resetting after this, Nadine. There might be. I've seen a few things, but I don't know what's true or not. That's pretty. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, aside from that. I think we're going to get right into it here real fast. Just uh, two quick notes. Mm -hmm. I will be uploading this much quicker than last time because my leg injury is doing much better. And at the end of Arc 2, I think we are going to be looking at recording separate audio and actually uh, finding someone to do a sound mix. And we're going to try and post this as a podcast in the future. That is the two-month plan. So I will be aiming towards doing that in the future here. And that is all tantamount to all your bits, all your subscriptions, guys, because now I can afford to pay someone to do that. Nice. Hey, hey uh, Taka, yeah, what's up? can I make a small... Uh quality of life suggestion for the stream i feel like it's gonna be a shot at me but okay no 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 it's not it's not it's absolutely not it's absolutely not this is this is purely for the pace of the game uh for the pace of the game may i ask that i and i know this might seem a little like i don't know it might seem mean but just for the sake of it unless bit drops are bigger than a hundred dollars let's not call them out I'm yeah. going to say if above 500 if that's okay. 500 what? $500? Like if $500, 500, $500, $500. Not bits. Not bits. Yeah. $500 in bits. If I, that's I, the case, then we could say, like, oh, shit. I really, if we could maybe, like, have a part, after a, a part, we just have a quick, like, one or two minute break. We can thank all the people donating bits in between the That's episodes. fine. I, I, we, I'm we, okay we could, with we, that. We could maybe trim, and if we do it that way, we actually, because this is this is, a, this is an evolving form. We actually have, like, every hour, like, have a quick break, thank people who've donated the bits and subscribed and stuff like that. Then we'll be able I'm to. I'm scared those breaks might be too long, but we can have we, one we, definitely. We'll be, in the we'll, be very, we'll be very quiet, and once we actually start recording this, we the editor can just cut it right out. Okay. Of the actual. But, anyways, uh, guys, hello. I'm going to leave the floor to my. Lovely, very talented sister who gets to hang out with YouTubers much more popular than me. Nadine. Uh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's true, but all right. Is everybody here? I just want to make sure everybody in the party is I, here. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, 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 I'm kidding. Kaijin Goom is the coolest YouTuber right now. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for that. No worries, I just figured I'd give, give Sorry. you a moment. Um, there's a man currently scraping metal across the ground outside, like something out of Silent Hill, so I don't know if that's picking up on my microphone, but if don't it is, I'll it. have to get up and close. No, okay, it's, okay. it's okay. Just lock the door. He won't get in. Okay. All right. So, when, laf when last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, the party was hired by the Captain of the Guard, Brook Bronzefang, to investigate a string of various murders. After, after their friend Willow was wrongly accused of the death of Artemis, a famous wizard who created the first construct, Mike Crank, Upon visiting Willow, the young mage confessed that while staying late to study, she heard the beating of wings and Artemis scream, Why you? before his death. 
After receiving this information, the party visited the Professor Rumblefungus, who worked with Dolmar and Artemis on the project. Rumblefungus advised the party to follow a snake, to which the party did and met the Yuan T information broker, Hasrad. Hasrad offered the party the door code to Dolmar's vault of a home, and in return, the party fought on Hasrad's behalf in a fighting pit. After victory, a strange meeting with the underbelly leader, and a nice bath, the party set out into the night, meeting the lackadaisical guard at his post near Dalmar's house, Marcus Sweet. The party sent Marcus Sweet to deliver a message to Doros, the paladin currently standing guard to Willow, and asked that he notify someone of rank the door is now open. Marcus set out, leaving the rest of the party to input the magical door's code. With a, with a labored creak, the door has now swung open. What will happen next? Well, we'll soon see. I want to make it a point that when last we stopped this, I said very distinctly I was hiding behind the door frame. All right. So Task and Borky, you guys are the closest to the door at the moment. Task walks in first and Bork, Borky follows, essentially. Uh, you guys are in front of the door. The door just opened. And the moment that door cracks open and swings open, the first thing you notice is the smell. Oh, shit. The moment you take a whiff in, you, it's disgusting. It smells like oh, rotting flesh ooze any it, it smells worse than the sewers and immediately you can feel sweat coming down your face uh i can't get my i want you both no, I, I, can't to get my, I can't get my character sheet open actually oh yeah i can't get my i'm, I'm having trouble getting my sorry i ap apologize i'm having trouble getting my character sheet open in you i'm hmm. clicking it on roll 20 it's just kind of popping up but there's nothing there it's just the picture of borky and that's it character sheet is just uh i'm actually getting that too Oh, there it is. It takes a second to load in on character sheet. It actually takes a second to load in. Okay. I think, I think the system might just I'm, be lagging tonight. While you guys are figuring that out, I'm going to go close my window because the scraping is actually starting to scare me. Yeah, I, I can actually hear it. Oh, uh, he's getting... Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's fine. He has, he has a pat... He has a, he has a, he has a, he has a, he has a patrolling pattern. Just memorize it and sneak around him. Then you got to grab a key to unlock a gate so you can get in, grab the actual gear to unlock the thing, to unlock the bridge. It's fucking easy. Just don't worry about it. Jesus Christ. Fucking survival horror people. What's the metaphor? Mm. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Memes. I don't know. Hawk, high octane energy boy tonight. Who put who put two Borkies on the front of the page? I, I have know. no idea. I wonder that who that was. I, I can fathom a guess. I was, hey. was that me? All actually, right. Was that me? Yeah, actually, you ac I accidentally you did that. Did that? Accidentally. I don't yeah, fucking it's... know what I'm doing. <laughs> At what All point right. have I ever shown? Okay, one second. Just gotta. Okay. So, what do we have to roll? Uh, task and Borky roll Constitution saving, uh, saving throws. Oh, oh shit! Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna barf, son. Constitution. So, it, Constitution Ooh. saving throws. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Um, yeah. Task, your experience living in the close knitted clutch of cobalts, you're pretty used to some pretty bad smells. Borky, you're an orc. You, you know smells. <laughs> It is very foul, though, and um, the moment you smell it, your hand does go over your mouth. Like, it is very poignant, very strong. Oh. Ta Task will make it a point to not open his mouth because those no that, uh, that's, that smell sensor he is on that tongue. <laughs> oh, it sounds like someone fucking died in here. Uh, well, go look around, see if someone did. Let's yeah, spill up and look for clues. It might be. Right, well, well, what's inside? What can we see from plain sight right want, now? Can we do a as you guys, a as the as the door opens, yeah, roll roll a perception check. Cool. It's dark. I will say it is dark. I got dark, Ooh, dark vision. Dark vision will work here. Dark vision you guys will work. Have, here, have dark vision. Uh, as you look in, you see um, another door to the side. As you're standing right in the the arcway of the door, yeah. you see another wall with a door on your left. As you look forward, you see a bed, which is large for a gnome. Dolmar was a gnome. Uh, you see a table, but you, you can't quite make what's on the table. And you see, um, basically, face down dead on a carpet, a currently decaying, very bloated corpse. Check the ceiling. Okay, you look up at the ceiling, nothing. Uh, can, I, okay. can, Borky try and, can Borky tell what the corpse was? Uh, it's definitely humanoid. Oh, okay. Well, can you tell what kind of humanoid? Can he, can he roll for... Can, can Borky that might be in it. Can yeah, Borky, roll for um, Borky, you can't make out what the humanoid shape is. Uh, task and panic. You guys squint your eyes. It appears to be an elf. 
All right, can Bork and eat? they are wearing an outfit which looks like something of the guard, or at least something of an, an official Alavastian mm. worker. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. If, Bork if you if you recall, uh, because this is when Probate dumped a ton of bits on us. Thanks, Probate. Uh, Bork did mention that he had someone dimension door into the house, and they mm. never came back out. Oh, okay. Uh, Borky gets Ooh. down. Uh, uh, Borky gets down, kind of onto his knees, pulls out his axe, and slowly pushes him to try and flip the body over, with the axe like. You're not in the house. You're on the. You're. This is all the way oh. inside the house. Oh. oh well, I thought we were inside the house. No, you guys are in like the the opening of the house. You're standing Panic. right. In the oh, doorway. they walk in. They walk in then. Sorry. Yeah. 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 yeah they, they walk in. We'll, okay. Panic, we'll all have to walk in. Yeah. Panic's As you going guys. To, sorry. Panic's go going ahead. to uh, unravel the the sash around his waist. He's going to wrap it around his. Uh, mouth and face and stuff like that mm. okay. yeah i'm gonna tuck my mask in borky holds his breath <laughs> oh, okay we'll have fun with that uh <gasps> as you guys walk in you see more of the house as you enter directly on your right you see a chest um you see the bed you see now on the table is an assortment of different weapons Ooh. you see a desk Ooh. and you see a shelf um near the desk as well um but the guy is currently face down. You see fuzz is growing on him. There's flies flying in and out of his ears and his eyes, Fun. where his eyes oh, used to yeah. be. Um, it's that's definitely where the majority of the smells coming from. And he's currently like almost kicked onto this carpet. I want to check the body. Uh, uh, Borky, All right. Uh, I would like to check the chest. Uh, Borky, right. would like, Borky would Before like to head over to the else... weapons. Uh, the weapons are past the carpet, but Tass, the moment you touch. You go anywhere near that carpet, I need you to make a reflex save. Oh, oh no. What did the you floor do? is evil. It's the... a fucking cloaker. God what? damn it. Oh, Ooh. nice. The floor as is danger. You, as you take two steps close to that body, suddenly the rug <laughs> leaps up like a Venus flytrap and tries to grab you, but you duck backwards, falling backwards, and the carpet comes to life. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, shit. Oh, good. <laughs> That's I just... told you guys right out the gate. <laughs> Fucking, I, I was... The Dean, you used a cloaker. <laughs> we talked about this. I thought we had an understanding. Oh, look I at all the weapons. All could show you your death. <laughs> Strip down, de-threaded. Sundered. He's an evil... Oh, God, it even looks like carpet. Oh, <laughs> God, God damn it. All right. No time. Oh, time to see if the carpets match the drapes, meaning that the drapes aren't here because it's dead. Ha! I guess you got, you got it. You know, so, be really, you know what'd be really fucking good right about now, but none of us have? Well. Fire! <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to tab out where the carpet is. Oh, by by the, way, the way, that is a big ass chest. Yeah, that's, that's dope. That could fit a body, right? Hmm. Alrighty, let's see. This thing's initiative is I not. Wonder. But that's okay. All right, let's... let's see. So we had we had 16 for task. Let's just put okay. By the way, this is the reason why no one would ever in their right mind want to live in the world of D&D &D, because anything could be anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then who has the higher dexterity? I imagine it's Greckles, correct? Yeah. Uh yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, I want, I want to have the strawberry. Oh, congratulations. It was a red cap in disguise. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> if only we had that fire axe. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so true. I'm so sorry, guys. We have acid. Whatever. That burns. Yeah, by the way, do we have a name for that amazing uh, dagger? Yes, it's called, the scary, it's called the Scary Acid Dagger of Stab. That's good. <laughs> I just put that there as a placeholder, but I how, guess it how wouldn't. how early two thousands of you? Oh. Man, that's that name is so whack. Alrighty, so a... panic. You stand there as the carpet flutters to life. The corpse is slides off. You see some goo and pus oh. kind of, and it flumps onto the floor. You <laughs> see one of the arms kind of falls out of the socket. It's kind of gross. <laughs> gross. Oh, right. Panic's gonna Panic's gonna start laughing. It's just like <laughs> you, you, you think you can beat us? You're a carpet. Okay. Well said. Um. Well said. 
I can't wait for the face in the wall to pop up. That's what you think. <laughs> oh, shit. The whole house is an enemy. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the carpet feels insecure. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to say, uh, you really took a bite out of that carpet there, Panic. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. We good. We good. We good. Oh, we, actually, see what you did. Hold see what on. You did. The, the carpet can't be insecure. It's immune. Oh wow. Ooh. Who's his? Who, who's his therapist? It is a magic. Carpet. Who is his magic is, carpet? Can I get his therapist number? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little too real there. <laughs> Let's not get you know too real in this. This is a fantasy game after all. All right. Well, everyone's there we go. Happy I always. It. I came, to, I came to hide from And Panic's, and... Panic's just gonna lean against Borky, just do 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 do. <laughs> Go get them, big guy. Bardic inspiration. Alrighty. Thank you. Oh. Task. Well, fuck it. Alright, Taurus, get near, uh, go with Borky to try and get a flank, and we'll take a ho go ahead and take a pot shot at this thing. Okay, that's your bonus action to command. Tarisk, and then your yep. attack. I, I didn't plan on moving, so I'm good. You want, you want, you want, wait, but sorry, did you say you want Borky to get flanked that thing? No, I want, I want Tarisk oh. to try and flank. Sorry, 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 I didn't, I didn't hear so, it. So you cut out. Sorry, be quiet. Okay. Fuck. God damn it. I, at, I said I wanted Taurus to flank with Borky. Okay. Okay. All right. Fuck, this is, no, this is a problem. Hold on a minute. What's wrong? I'm trying to see if there's like a audio sensitivity thing that I'm not doing. Automatically determine input sensitivity. Yeah, turn that off, please. <laughs> oh, fuck. That, that was the issue. Okay. okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shot. Yeah. Fuck that you, hits. son. Dang. Nice. An arrow -chink goes right through and it goes on the wall. And like the carpet stops. Its little tassels on the ends kind of turn, and it almost like as if it's kind of looking at itself. It turns the one of the tasseled corners and shakes at you as if shaking a fist. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone has got to draw us freaking fighting carpet from Aladdin. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, Tarisk, hearing your order, is going to flank. Attack him, my son. You gave him the order to flank. Yep. All right. Um, Greckles, it is now your turn. Also, your additional attack with a light weapon is a bonus action. So if you dash, you cannot get an additional attack. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. Um, do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. This is the chest right here, right? Yeah, it's about your height, actually. It's a very large chest. Yeah. Um. I want to try and dash to try and, and to dash and hide behind the bed. I just don't know if I have enough actions to do it. Um, uh, that would take an action and then your bonus action. Okay, so it's doable, right? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, yeah, because you'd have to dash to get all the way over there. Yep. And that's, I'm completely fine with that. Um, I just don't want to get an attack of opportunity. That, that's a clear shot, isn't it, right there? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. The Naruto theme song plays as you run over there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sing! Ho! Oh. I want you, as you run over there and you duck behind the bed, I want you to roll a perception check real quick. Oh, oh. do I also need to roll stealth? The bed's a mimic! <laughs> oh, my God. Nope, I don't uh, know as much. No, you don't. I mean, honestly, this thing has such... You don't notice anything. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, do I need to roll that stealth uh, stealth check? Yeah, roll a stealth check, actually. I should do that just because this thing Oof. doesn't have a great... Yeah, it does not notice you. It's too preoccupied at the moment with having a hole in its beautiful, embroidered self. Bor Borky, it's now your turn. Borky looks at the, he looks at this carpet hovering. Borky looks at the colors, color scheme, gold trim with red, with red outline and a green center. And Borky just grips his ax and goes, <sighs> Borky doesn't like warm colors. Borky likes cool colors. And Borky rages. Okay, good reason. Fuck you, you can't- oh, Panic you, Borky, when, when did you get a fucking, like, interior design degree? <laughs> Panic- Panic says, hey. Uh, can I get over here, Nadine, right here? Like, right there? Get- Yeah, I think you can. Oh, you have a movement of 30 oh, feet. You're gonna be fucking up my flank, son. 
Well, then... Yeah, that's that's not a flank there. If if between Tarisk and you, is this a flank here or what? you'd have to you... get behind? You flank would get be behind. back here. Can you I... have to be behind it. Can I get there in one move? No. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, then I'm gonna charge forward. All right. Okay. Borky comes up, swings down with his axe. Also, okay. There he just activated. Warm colors do not uh, agree with Borky. He likes a cool purple and blue. Bring it down, son. Ooh. Nice, that hits. Bring it down, great axe swing. 18. Th and there's there's Task in panic. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 11 slashing. 11. Plus not two? Bad. Plus, Plus two. two, so that's 13. There we go. Okay. okay. It's the carpet's turn. Oh boy, here we go. I'm so curious. Watch it cast a fucking lightning bolt. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. I need you to roll. Who is you? I see the creature's grapple escape. Okay, so I need no. you to roll an athletics check. Who's Who? that? Who? Borky. Borky needs to roll an athletics check. An athletics check. check. Oh, this will be fun. All right, cool. Yeah. Athletics check. And... You should actually be able to roll pretty high. Oh, ooh, no, my God. That was bad. You guys watch as the carpet engulfs Borky, <laughs> wrapping it around, which, by the way, is really gross because it still has that disgusting smear of dead on it. Oh, no. You were oh, currently cute. grabbed by the rug. You watch as Borky's now flailing in this rug, <laughs> you know, punching and screaming. His axe is now close to him. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, fuck. Oh. So you're restrained, oh, you're no. blinded, oh, no. and the rug can't smother another target. Oh, that's well. good. <laughs> Alrighty. You, you, you do. You do have. You do have inspiration. He does. You do. You could re-roll out of it. Can, can Borky try and wiggle out of it by re-roll a save? You no, have no, to no. Roll, roll a 1d6. You have to roll a 1d6. Oh, you don't re-roll. no. A 1d6 only? Yeehaw. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here it's now. not... Talk, it's not a re-roll. It adds on to your athletics check. Yeah. So 14. 14. That... He escapes. Oh! Uh -huh. he, you flex off the carpet. You, you're covered in this disgusting ichor, and it's really not that appealing to the smell, but you're free. Oh. Um... The carpet begins to flail rhythmically, and as it does, you begin to hear rattling <laughs> on the table as... Oh, no! Schwing, oh, no. Swing to <laughs> living swords. Uh, I hate wizards. enter the fray. I hate wizards. Oh, man, I'm covered. I'm covered in sick. I'm, covered in, I'm covered in man juice. Gross. Don't put it like that. But I'm coated in it. It's like basted on. Whoa. The sword seeing you task like a like a dart flies towards you. Ah! <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> um, I'm gonna roll to hit here. Where's its attack? There Let it me remind everyone that we are all level two. Uh that is twenty to hit. Ah! <laughs> Okay, yeah, so Tash has got a fucking sword to the gut. You take... It's four plus one. You take five points of slashing damage. Ow! Watch out! <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's minus five. That's a 14. What was your stealth earlier? It's a 15. Okay, the other sword does not see you. Greckles. Uh, hang on a second. Um... Oh shoot! My hip, my hit points. Okay, never mind. I, I remembered. My hit points got erased off my character sheet. And I'm like, oh, how many did I have? <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh, uh, the sword comes around and flanks Tarisk. Oh no! Oh no! Uh -huh. My child! And that'll hit. Oh, Let's see. This is looking rough. Oh, buddy, he takes seven points of slashing damage. Oh. Ow. He takes it like a champ, though. The animated sword goes and slices at its tail. There is a spray of blood, but Taris just kind of furrows his brow a bit, like, how could you do that to me? Oh, that oh, was fuck. unkind. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Panic. It is now your turn. You currently huh? see a sword in front of Task, almost as if it's being wielded by a ghost, bouncing back and forth. Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, hang on. I'm I'm doing some Power. doing some inner math right now. Will I take an event will I take an attack of opportunity if I move away? Yeah, unless you do a disengage action. I guess I, I guess I think. Yeah. Just panic right now. Hmm. 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 Well, I don't actually have anything to attack the sword with, besides my thunder wave, unless I want to mock the sword. <laughs> uh... But I, I don't think it works on objects. No. Unless they're sentient. Are these swords sentient? I'm. They're they're immune, so I'm gonna say okay. no. <sighs> you could punch it, or you could spike up that and try and grapple it. That would be amazing. If you grab the sword and just get pulled around the room. Uh, oh, fuck. You know what? I'm going to take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, that is... Plus three. That is a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. Oof. You get two points of slashing damage. Uh, it oh, notices ooh, as you run, ooh. and it slices the back of your butt. Just a little bit. <laughs> Why is it always the ass? My ass! Right. I need that for things. Uh, uh, hang on, me. You wouldn't know about sitting. <laughs> you wouldn't download it, ass. <laughs> or would I? Uh, all right. So, I'm gonna mage hand. Uh, I'm gonna put it over here near these weapons. So I'm gonna try to drag one of these swords over to me. Okay. Ah, this is oh fucking sweet. Nice. You cast Mage Hand, and your Mage Hand scoops up a rapier, actually. Ooh. Congratulations. Ooh. How appropriate. It's alive, too. I'm rearmed. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be our luck. <laughs> I'll say it grabbing the sword is your action, because it's going to so have to make so, it. Is, unless it is you wanted to throw it for you. Uh, well, well, the Mage Hand itself is an action, so. Okay. So I you, assume... you activate it, and it slowly lifts up a lot, like a rapier, like, hey, look what I found. Oh, shit. Can I bring it back over to me? Uh, you could have it throw it, and I'd say it'd be instantly, or you could wait and have it, like, just pull it over to you, which is certain that you would get it. <sighs> yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll have it drag it over to me in, in the In the next of... turn? Yeah. yeah, and using my bonus action, I will... Uh... Inspire Task. Oh, there once was a kobold named Task the Red. He was very shiny indeed. Nice. Good, good. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Task. It is now your turn. Well, I can't use a bow and arrow on this man. I'm right in front of it. Unless that's plausible. You take disadvantage. Y yeah. So I guess, fucking. The bow gets disengaged, and now trans like Tass does like the little fucking cloud strife spin move and up up swings with his spear. Hey. Ah! You go to swing with the spear, and the sword ting parries it. Uh, don't don't is it, isn't he isn't he rolling an advantage because he got bardic inspiration? No, you yeah. get that a plus six. Dude, that won't fucking help. Look at my roll. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm lucky it wasn't a crit failure. God, Nadine's spicy tonight. I like... am spicy tonight. I am on so much liquid Advil, you have no idea. <laughs> okay, so, so, so now we know. Uh, Tylenol makes you tyrannical. Okay, we got it. <laughs> um, what, what do you want to command Tyrus to do? Uh, God, fucking... If he moves, he's gonna take hits from that fucking sword, and he's gonna take... The problem is, if he moves, he's gonna get hit by the sword and the fucking carpet. Uh, uh, no, continue with the plan, flat, uh, flank. Get the fuck out of there, because getting pincered by these two is a bad thing anyway. So you want him to go around, like, here, behind the carpet? Uh, yeah, I want, him to, I want him to flank with Borky. Okay. He will take an attack of opportunity from the sword, but not the rug. Okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, all right, so he runs. He's going to take the attack of opportunity. Let's see what the sword does. Crit hit. Fuck it, why not? 
14 plus 3, that's 17. I have to pull out his sheets because he's a good boy and he has his own sheet in the book. And that does just hit. Fuck. He takes four points of slashing damage. Oh my god. This but he does make it around to flank. Attack! Relent! He will attack, and I closed my book for him, which was dumb, but that's <laughs> No one, uh, no one gets any attacks. 16 plus 5. That's a 21 to hit. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's 9 points of damage. You watch as Tarisk leaps up, rips and tears into this rug and starts ripping out. You see strands of threads just torn out. One of the tassels goes flying past you, Panic, next to you. As, like, a dog destroying a teddy bear, Tarisk bears into this thing. It is now drooping and sagging as, ha like, almost one-third of it has been eaten by a dragon. He currently has little pieces of cloth now stuck to his teeth coming out of his mouth. He's kind of got this nice little ruggish beard on. That's disgusting. All right, Greckles, it is now your turn. All righty. Since we have room, I'm going to make my move. And okay. uh, let's give out the let's let's give the scary acid dagger of stab a roll. Hey. Oh God! Um, I'm gonna roll the severity of this for, for, for fun. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> you go to stab. I don't know if this is be allowed, but it it I got a twenty on the severity. You go to stab the rug, the rug coils around your hand and steals the dagger. No. The rug is now wheeling the, the, the crazy dagger of stab. He's got, oh, he's got a knife! He's got a knife! <laughs> Alright, well, I'll make my second attack then. Okay, you can't do it with the scary acid dagger of stab that is now no. not on your person. I just bought that for you! <laughs> he's got a oh, oh my god! god! Ah! What?! <laughs> Too. Oh. Okay, not as severe. Oh my fuck! Oh my god. Um, you the you go to swing with your other sword, and the the rug parries it back with your dagger, and a little bit of acid secretes out of it as it's coiled up against the hilt, and thus pressing that button. Um, so you do take roll one d four here. We have the highest one point. Stuff. Of acid damage. Oh my Just god. One. We have the highest amount of viewers we've ever had, and this is happening live on uh -huh. stream. <laughs> is that uh -huh. a tragedy? I don't, and, and I, I can't, I, God, I can't do anything with my bonus action, can I? You just did. You just attacked with your second bonus action. With your I short mean, with sword? The, with the, I mean, with the cunning action, sorry. That's a, that's a bonus action, but you just use a bonus action uh, to use yours as a second attack, yeah. Okay. So you're kind of done. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, okay. Marky, it's now your turn. Okay, like I got three scenarios here. I can I could go with. I got I, this is boring. <laughs> I, on one hand, I, I I'm st I don't want. Can I just talk about what I should do this move here? Do, do you need anything? Just just do it. Just do it, please. Just do like do, save save time. Just do what you say what you want to do, and we'll do it. I got two options here, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here because I'm scared of disengaging. But because I'm wanting, see, see where the position of Vorky right now in between the sword on the angle and the. If you move, you take two attacks of opportunity unless you move around the rug, and you wouldn't get one from the rug. So I move to the left. I would, I would only get one from the rug then. I'm wondering if I should go save Task right now. That's the big thing because Task is fucked right now. We're all fucked right now. Like no, we're, don't all, get... we're all fucked, so don't worry about it. Just, just fucking kill something, please. I mean, like, alrighty. Um, Borky's. Uh, let me just pull up my character sheet here. It's, it's time to get Orky. I think it's time to get Orky here, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, activate uh, reckless attack. Okay, you have advantage on this next attack. I do. I'm and Borky's gonna be targeting uh, the 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 fucking stupid ass rug that's out of season. I don't care. <laughs> You stupid ass rug. Stupid ass rug. Nobody, nobody rubs man juice on me. Uh, you think you're so good? And the the, the the you know the rug's throwing that knife back and forth between the tassels. Ha ha! It's got some really good knife moves, like spinning Roberto. it like a switchblade. <laughs> Borky swings his mighty great axe down with all the anger and rage because he cannot believe 
th this is taking. No one beats his ass, especially furniture. Okay. Borky swings nice. the thank, thank God. All right. And Borky. And roll, roll oh, 15. You take your axe and you cleave the rug in two. <laughs> And it shakes with an arcane twitch. It convulses and twitches. And then falls to the ground gently, like a piece of paper. Do I have an, addi do I have an additional action right now? Ding, 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 ding. The dagger <laughs> falls down. I kick, it uh -huh. I, I kick it towards. Can I kick it towards fucking Yeah, Greckles? yeah, you totally can. Kick it towards Greckles. You drop something. Oh my god, don't you start with this, Porky. Okay. That ends your turn? Uh, pretty much. I can't do anything else, right? You could move, but you take an attack of opportunity, and there's no point to it. Uh, I could. Could I, um... I wish there was a way I could, like, distract from task, but I can't do everything, I guess, right well, now. Well, you can, you can freaking turn around. He can turn around, can he? As a free action? Yeah, he turns around. Okay. So you're not getting flanked? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, he's not, upside down. He's not flanked Oh, anymore. God, he's drunk. I'm, Austra <laughs> I'm, I'm Australian bulky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, it, w would there be any tactical advantage, Nadine, uh, to me walking towards uh, and flanking the one that's attacking Task at all? If I take the hit, you, you would have he, advantage on next attack. Would it... he has advantage anyway? Because he's he, if he does uh, reckless attack, but um, I would well, get I, I would get advantage I'm say... if you're flanking. That's true. Actually, I'll, that's I'll, a good I'll, point. I'm gonna yeah. move towards the, the I'm gonna move. I'm, I'm Borky turns, seeing that his best hey. friend Task. Uh, does an 18 hit you? Yes, it does. You take three points of slashing damage, brought down to, I believe, one point That's with rage. Cool. There we go. All right, cool. I'll save you, best friend. Okay. The sword still, its attention on task, is going to attack. And it rolled one. Yes! Ha! Okay, roll it. Roll the critical fail. Let's see if it just destroys itself. No, I uh, want to keep it. <laughs> task, you watch as the sword goes to swing and then... Get stuck in that door next to you. It's now prone. <laughs> coup de gras! It. I want a coup de gras, this motherfucker. But next sword, though. I just uh, imagine Borky and Tastus cracking their knuckles, looking at it with dark eyes in their head, kind of like the One Piece characters from the Thriller Bark Saga, going, "Hmm." <laughs> oh God! Look at this domino effect right now. Alrighty, the sword chases after you, Borky. It's just like a tush tush. Plus two, so that's eighteen plus three. That's twenty-one to hit. Yeah. That's six plus three. one. That's seven. So you take three points of slashing damage. Right on my ass? Right on the back, right in your shoulder blade. Aww. It rears up, and you guys, uh, Greckles and Panic, and currently Task is chewing on pieces of rug. Um, you watch as an eruption of blood sprays across from Borky's back. That's my blood. Panic, it is now your turn. Your mage hand delivers you a rapier. It tosses to you like... Princess Bride style, like you're on your Indigo Montoya, you just grab it. You Aha! have it now in your hand. Aha! Today you cross blades with Panic Grimtongue. Unfortunately, you are a blade. <laughs> uh, Clever. So, let me see here. Da, 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 da. Um, Get in here. Would, if I move here, would I take attacks from both of them? No, if you're if you're going into combat, you're fine. If it's leaving or moving in any sense that you would move from an adjacent space, you take an attack of opportunity. Okay, let me look at my sheet real. But quick could he be here. targeted by both swords? Oh yeah, totally. Okay, that sounds like something would happen to panic. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I'm just going based on law of averages here. Okay. Ah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna. I feel so bad for him. He gets beaten up so much more than Borky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Here he comes to save the day. Here I come. All right, uh, I'm going to attack the uh, the sword that is attacking Borky with my uh, newly acquired rapier. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you swing, you're like, finally, I have my sword back. This will be great. You swing. <laughs> It like ricochets off your hand as you hit the hilt of the sword. Yeah. Okay, so the useless to this thing. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll do what I do best then, and I'm going to uh, turn to Borky and it's gonna be like, "It's really good to heal your voice," and uh, gonna use uh, healing word on him. On. Okay. Okay. On Borky. All right. 
Actually, though, is is the wand a, a full action? It's a full action, yeah. All right, yeah. No, you healing work on Borky. Nice. Okay, that ends your turn there. Yeah. Task, it is now your turn. Can I coup de gras then move back and not take uh, attack of opportunity because it's prone? Uh, it's prone. You get advantage on the attack. I would still take uh, attack of opportunity if I moved away. Uh, if he's if he's prone, I'd say no because he'd have to. Yeah, be that's on what I mean. Stuff. I want to. I want to. Yeah. I want to coup de gras first and then move away. You want to hit him and run? Yeah. Okay, I'll allow it. Uh, yeah. So, Spear, what do I get on coup de gras? What do I have to roll for that? Uh, it's just roll an attack. And you don't get coup de gras on a prone target. You would get it on a c unconscious target. Okay, well, I got advantage, so that's actually 17. 17, yeah, that does. You have flanking, so yeah, that does hit. Which sword is that? Sword of one. Okay. Nice, not bad. You you <coughs> swing and you hit the sword, and the hilt cracks off and breaks and <laughs> onto the ground. You see an archaic energy flowing kind of ghostly like out of the hilt where the hilt was. Um, and as the flow kind of spits and shimmers and, and does everything, the sword clatters to the ground. All right, I'll move it. And as this is hap- Oh, I killed it. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. So as this is happening, Task is running over that way, but also attaching the string back onto his bow. Okay. And that ends your turn there? Yep. Oh, oh wait, you no, wanna... free action, free action. Yes. Tarisk, end it. Get behind the fucking sword. Taurus goes. Plah, plah, plah. <laughs> I'm just imagining being sitting there, just prone, going, <laughs> just chewing the thing, going nom nom nom. <laughs> Taurus mm. runs up behind the sword. Let's go, buddy. No, oh, let's not go. That was really bad. He rolled the three. Yay! Fucking god. He man. goes to bite the sword, and the sword just kind of floats out of his way, kind of twitches out of his his jaws. Damn it. Greckles, it is now your turn. Pick up the dagger. Uh, well, no kidding. I pick up the dagger. Does, is that... <laughs> that is doesn't that, take is... anything. That doesn't take anything. You're fine. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Borky. Uh, it's... it's included in your movement action for that, so you're fine. So that's 20 feet. All right. Now that I got my freaking dagger back, let's try this crap again. <laughs> okay. That's better. Much better. That'll do it. That'll do it. And I, I sadly don't get sneak attack damage on a sword, right? Um, I think you actually do, because you have other people engaged with it. So yeah, you do get sneak attack. Give them the shades. Okay. Sands. There we go. Okay. And then... you carve into. I'm just gonna say that you don't need to roll. Oh. Trust me. Okay. You carve into the sword, and the acid sprays all along the cut that you make, and you hear a high pitched screech, like almost like hot metal burning, <laughs> as. The sword splits in two from the acid and the pressure, and you see a puff of arcane energy expel from the sword as the pieces clang, 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 clang onto the ground. Oh, oh my god. god. All right. Bork. Now I'm going to check this asshole's body. Real fast. Okay. Bork, can, uh, I'm going to check the swords. Really, really, really fast. Um, Borky would like... That's creepy music. Borky would like to um, go over to the tattered remains of the rug and grab a piece. Okay. Uh, can, can I do I have to roll anything for that? Can I just grab a piece of it? It's not an animal, so it's yeah. You can just rip a piece off of it. Borky kind of like tucks it right around his loincloth. That's a trophy right there. That's a trophy right there. Uh, Borky's got you, some flair. As you go, as you go through the body of the mage, um, he's wearing standard issue armor and things like that. Uh, you do find an elixir of health. Ooh. Well, I'll take that shit. <laughs> nothing else on this man? Nothing uh, of small value? A token of, of his identity? Uh, no token of identity. You do find uh, one garnet, and you also find uh, 30 gold pieces on him as well. All right, I'll take Sick. all that. All right. What do, we, what do we see over at the weapon rack? You see nothing of any particular interest. There's no enchanted weapons. You see an array of swords, uh, daggers, axes, war hammers, things that you could buy from the crafting district from where you guys live. Hey, Borky. Um, yeah, what's up? Hey, come here for a second. I got an idea. Okay, first answer me a question. Should I take this cob piece part or should I take two tassels and attach them to my shoulders? 
Oh, you got to take those tassels, I'm man. Taking tassels. I'm not, can I add two tassels to my inventory? Yeah, go ahead. Yes. All right, two golden tassels. Two you, tassels. We'll you still got that bag? You still got that big old bag of holding? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, look at... See all these lovely weapons here? Forky just opens up the bag, pour them in. <laughs> all <laughs> right. just dump them in. Pull out a piece of paper. You get three daggers. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Lord. Oh, let me, let me. I got I got I got I got it. You're going to write this down? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, three daggers. Uh, two long swords. Three short swords. Nice. One war hammer. Fab. And one uh, battle axe. That's fresh. Nice. What was the first thing I picked up before? I'm sorry. I got the garnet. I got the 30 bucks. And what? An elixir, elixir of health. Elixir of health. Thank you. All right. With all that taken care of, I'm gonna go check out this chest. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna be real careful Borky. looking for any kind of traps or anything like that. I am, I am, I am gonna okay. stand right here and ready action my fucking bow. All right, uh, I want you to roll a perception check, Greckles, right. for traps. Reception. Yo. What? Yo. What? Didn't click anything. Uh, you didn't roll. You didn't roll. Yeah, I did. Oh, really? no, there it goes. Oh, it's, it's a yeah. little laggy today. I was about to say, uh, that's a 22. Please don't make me re-roll. You look, you check for any wires, you check for any sort of anything. Um, you do notice on it, there is a rune. Ooh. It is written in a language you don't understand, though. Task, um, so you kind of lean over and see Greckles doing this. Like, Greckles, you kind of, like, wipe you know, part of it away. Like, it's covered in what looks like some sort of, like, um, like kind of like a wax or concealer of some kind. You kind of rub it away. Mm -hmm. um, and as it's rubbed away by Greckles, task, you can read it. It's draconic. Ooh, what does it say? It says, watch. What? It's, dr it's draconic. It says, watch. You get the sense of this item um, that if you open it, uh, it's kind of like, it's not going to set off an alarm, but the person who owns these items will be aware. But Dolmar's dead, so. Can I? Can, can mm -hmm. I'm going here. So should we open it up here, Dan? Or I don't know. It's it's it, it seems like some kind of security key. But the problem is, is that the owner of this place is dead. You know. Uh, well, it's not gonna it's not gonna do it do him any good anymore. Hold, hold up! I have an idea. Now hear me out, because they come ever so seldom. <laughs> what if we like? Because the rug was evil, the swords were evil. I'm still not sold on the bed. The door could be evil. I don't know what else could be evil. This chest, though, good chance it's evil. How about we open it up outside? Uh, that would also mean that we would be seen by guards, townsfolk, things like that. Probably not the best idea. I mean, Looking at it, too, it looks like the chest might be bolted to the floor. Okay. It's mm. huge. It's like a dresser-sized thing. Oh. It's massive. To wrap up this conversation, then, I will be... Oh uh, no! But if anything, if anything bad happens, make sure to drop your dagger and let them have it. And Borky oh, no, walks dude, away. Oh, that no, don't. I was about to say, uh, Tass is gonna look to Borky. Well, if you're that concerned, he point he uh, wit, like nods his head over to like his bow. Ready your weapon. All right, fine. Which one? This one. This one. This one. Borky kind of has all them out. Should I like prepare to show a spear at it, or should I hit it with an axe? Pick one. Axe. Axe. Okay. Axe it is. By the way, Gre Greckles, I meant what I said. You dropped your knife, you little idiot. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Greckles, you have your hands. You have your hands on the chest. What are you doing? Is it locked? Like, is there a no. lock on it? There's give to it. It'll open. Oh. Task, do me a favor. If this thing blows up in my face or something along those lines, please pour that healing potion I've got in my belt down my throat. Nods. All right, I'm going to open it. All right, as you open it, the rune on the front slowly glows. Mm. Nothing happens. Uh, as you open it up, you see a bunch of clothes. You see a bunch of shoes. Mm. You see, like, winter coats. You see, basically, like, very nice nobleman clothes that have been just crumpled up and shoved into this chest. You see a few, like, textbooks, books on things, uh, mostly magical things that make no sense. Um, and digging through, you do find a key. Ooh. I'll Ooh. grab that key, then. Okay. Uh, what's the size of? Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna ask. Uh, what's the size of? Uh, oh, it's a small nobleman's clothing, right? Uh, he's a gnome, so it's very small. 
I say we take this anyway. I have plans Bork, for this. Borky, Borky, oh, Borky already oh, has yeah. a bag of holding open. Get it in. Oh, just yep. dump, just dump everything in. Oh no, everything. Put everything inside. Okay, create the okay. add to the list. Get it all. Right. In. I got. I, I'm ready. I am so all ready. All right. You find five pairs of boots. Nice. <laughs> you guys are crazy. You're gonna become like a JC Penney's or something by the well, time we have done. to. We have. We have to supply we our go, tavern. We go to plus make. we plus Fair plus enough. all 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 these textbooks would be really good for closure. This is really good. Fair enough. He, he, would, uh, you he find, would want this. You, he would want us to steal everything he owns and sell it for money. I think. <laughs> you find three pairs of commoner's clothes. Yep. Okay. Two pairs of adventuring clothes. An explorer's pack. Ooh. Yo! It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll save that for later. And you find a textbook on um, familiars. Mm. Nifty. Uh -huh. And you find a book detailing how to make a homunculus. Ooh! Oh. Ooh. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Do you, wait, do we want to save the books or do we want the books first? No, we want to, we want to just put everything in. Yeah, yeah no, just grab it. All right. Panic. All right. Uh, panic, while you're over there, uh, looking, I'm assuming you're looking at the desk and at the papers, yeah, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at everything on the desk, uh, looking at these okay. books, I'm tr if, if the desk has drawers, I'm going through those as well. Um, I'm gonna say, go underneath the journal tab on the side, and uh, go under found documents, there should be a tab there called found documents. In my character sheet? Uh, on the side where the journal is, like, where we have your guys' like, characters, like, set up with all the different tabs. There's like found documents, party inventory, employees, important characters, player characters, locations. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to find it right now. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see it. Yeah. You find that. You're looking around. You find very feverishly drawn um, diagrams and, and things. A lot of it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You see these sketchy drawings. You see these notes about like, no, this one didn't work, didn't work. This one was incorrect. Have to try this again. It's all wild. It's written in such a speedy, fast way. It, it's almost like with, with complete abandon to control. Um, it's very feverish, as if by a uh, compulsion. And then you find that as well. This is out of everything else is written nicely, is written formally, so, so and is quick, 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 quick question. Should I be showing this to the audience right now? No, okay. Panic can read it, though, if he, okay, he, the character chooses to do so. Yeah. Uh, guys, I, I think I found something. What? Should we put it in the bag? Uh, <laughs> we don't need to, I don't oh, think. Okay. Uh, it's, it looks like a, a letter to Dolmar uh, from someone named Colton. It says, Dolmar, bringing in these cases of crystals is getting harder and harder. The Hoketh clerics are poking around the docks and sewer gates. I don't know if they're looking for us or something else, but they're here. I don't know why or what you need so many of these weird crystals for, but I want more pay for this job. Frank touched one of the damn things and died instantly. We don't know why. I'm not going to ask what the hell this is for and why you need so many, but for Upsa's sake, up our goddamn pay. As for your order for that large crystal, I got something from a fellow from Canary's Perch. Some weird white tiefling brought one in. Weird. Keep that, it's evidence. White tiefling. Uh, right before I even placed an order from Testris's court, I uh, don't know if they're a friend of yours or what, but they're weird as hell. Had these bright orange and yellow eyes and a voice like sin. Either way, I got the damn thing. Now up my pay, Colton. So Stop it for your I... thoughts on that tiefling. B Borky just says, should we pay him more? Oh, wait, that's not us. <laughs> um, um, as you guys are standing there and panics walking back with the letter, the front door you guys have come from eh, poof, slams close. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, panic puts the letter in his, uh, in his jacket. Well, we ain't coming back out this way for now. Let's check out the rest of the room. Walk out. We go. Hold on. Hold on. Borky, Borky go up and try and open the door. There's no handle. There's nothing. The only thing that's on the door besides the door itself is one of those orbs that you touched your hand on to do the code. On this side, it's clear and see-through. It's like a peephole, like in a hotel. <laughs> you can see out the front of the house. That's all that's on the door, and touching it does nothing. Thank God I told Marcus Sweet the combination! <laughs> be, let's be honest here, though, Tysk. I don't think he's gonna remember. He seems like a bit of an airhead. Besides, we... Yeah. 
besides, we don't know if he's even going to bang, bang, bang. know we're in here. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, I'd Fuck like me. to, I'd like to, I know there is an equivalent of a search check in this edition, but that's exactly what I would like to do, either for a way out or to figure out if there's something I can put this key into. All right, investigation. I honestly, yeah. you don't need to roll an investigation. There's a door, um, actually right here that is locked. Oh, well. Check that key out, boy. Yeah. Um, do I, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and do, uh, check, like, check for traps or anything like that. Perception check? There you go. Hey, you look around. Nothing. You're fine. Okay. I'll stick it in and give it a good turn. Oh, oh that was good timing, Nadine. That was good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Guys, there's down. a staircase. There's a staircase down here. Should All we right. should we look around the rest of this room? It looks like there are what's, more entrances. What's over here? That is, I, that's, uh, we used to be a window, you can tell, but it's filled in with that obsidian rock from outside. We got nothing else, so all there is is just going downstairs. Mm. That's good, most good things were in the basement, Borky goes down. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll follow after him. <clears throat> Guys, just stay back, because we're the ones who have dark vision. Oh, that's a good point. But let oh. me, let me take, let me take middle, just in case, uh, fair enough. going to come in the back. Okay. Uh, so, Borky, you're going down first? Yep. It's not a staircase, it's actually a ladder. Um, oh. It is a cramped ladder, because it's meant, obviously, for someone very small, but, Borky, you managed to get in. Oh, um, it's, a it's a tight squeeze. So, tick, 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 tick. you go down the ladder uh, one by one. Taris sits at the top and just kind of... Uh, oh. Uh, looks at the ladder, looks to you. Can, can Bor uh, Borky, can you do me a favor? Catch him. All right. Borky holds out his hands. All right. Here we go. Uh, as you guys descend down the staircase, you find yourself in a, a small hallway. Um, Taurus nose dies like torpedo style because it's the only way he'll fit. Oh, shit. So he's going head first. Uh, roll, I'd say, an athletics, ca uh, athletics check to catch him. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll this just to see. Ah! Okay, never mind. Bye, dice. That's the next. Every every time, every episode, I lose a dice. Yeah. You know what? You know what? The best part is that was probably the best roll. Probably. Uh, this is not bad though. You manage to catch uh, Taurus. You just grab him, kind of like a Doberman jumping into your arms, and then you let gently let him out. Gotcha. Um, this puts who at the front of the the group at this point in this tunnel. I'm waiting for the for him to get to, back to the front unless anyone else wants to. Borky, yeah, no, I'm I'm, early. I'm gonna stick to the I'm gonna stick behind uh, Borky. Borky, Borky's standing at the front. Don't worry. Okay, Borky, you 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 shimmy back up to the front. It's not enough space for two of you to stand side by side, but it's enough space for him to kind of sneak by. It's like you kind of get pushed up against his pecs a little bit. It's a little cramped. Yeah. yeah. But you manage to yeah, slip onto the front. You feel how tight those are? Yeah, it's swinging axe all day, baby. I'm three, feet, I'm three feet tall. I can move all the way around you, my friend. Keep going. Okay. Damn the gnomes um, and their shortness. Is Bor Borky, as you set forward, you see a reddish glow up ahead. Oh my god. There's a reddish glow up ahead. Well, um, there's not enough room for us to head backwards. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. So Borky keeps walking towards the reddish glow. As you guys keep walking, you immediately are hit with that same smell of the dead body. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, it's another dead it's a good body. thing I have this thing on my face. Watch out for watch out for any any kind of rugs. I don't trust rugs now. It's musky. <laughs> it's it's not as strong. It's not fresh, but it's musky and it's there and it sticks to the room like like dampness. Ugh. It's hard to breathe. Borky, you walk forward, and then you hear a... Uh-oh. Oh! Guys, he has a clock. As you look down, Borky, you notice a piece of the stone has sunken in where your foot has touched it. Uh-oh. And up Move ahead back. of you, you see a box now glowing, and from it bursts out a range of magic missiles, and they're veering towards you guys. I... I Pull out my ring of anti-magic missile. Yeah. As you do, yeah. the, the the missiles stop, freeze in place, and there's about six different missiles, by the way. Oh. And, like, streaks of light 
they go into your ring and that faint glow that Willow put in for you dims. Oh. Ha! Silly, 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 silly question, Nadine. I have danger sense. Would I have been able to sense that coming? Uh, oh, yeah, you would have. But you didn't do a... Uh, that would be for... Wait, hold on. Gain advantage you would get, you get advantage on... Spells. Must see traps and spells. Okay, so I didn't see it. Yeah, in the dark you didn't see it. No, it's really dark. I should have I should have said I rolled for perception. If you were doing an active per perception check, I would have said yeah. All right, so do we see, uh, do we have like can we see where the trap came from? Uh, it looks like as you look down on the ground and you look closer, you see like like a kid would do in like a bathroom stall. You see the smallest etchings in draconic leading up the wall and you can only see this task because your dark vision is the strongest you see it going up to the ceiling of the wall and going towards the room and what? all the runes say connect 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 let me go ahead i'm seeing a trail go for it borky's like borky's like not taking his foot off the panel i'm just too scared to let go i'm afraid there's like part two of that take his foot off okay it <laughs> rises back up and Just the glow of the box fades. Oh, thank God. All right, so I'm going to roll a perception check and follow the connect line. It goes up onto the ceiling above you. Can I not see the ceiling? You can't see the ceiling. It's just, it's like one direct path. Like it's in the middle of the ceiling right above where you guys are. Like the oh, path like is it, so it doesn't, tight. It doesn't, it doesn't trail going down. No, it trails going into this red glowish room. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess I'll just roll a perception check and see where the fuck we're going next. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll take points since I got the strongest dark vision. Hey, real face, panic. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Panic leans, da leans down and kisses the ring. I owe her a drink. Oh, that's nice. I have to be in prison now because she's in prison. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Wait a minute. I still have bardic inspiration. You do. I do. Roll it up. Okay, you do walk and you notice, just like the chest, you see two watch runes on either side of the wall. All right. But well, they're I'll... high up, higher than a gnome would be. Check the floor. I, I, I point that out to everyone at first, and also now I'm just checking the floor. Nothing on the floor. It's just these two warning things, probably up about five foot five in height. Hmm. For you, you can just walk right under it. You're fine. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do, mm. uh, can I, like, do, like, an investigation check or something that, like, can, can I, uh, uh, is survival, like, oh, since it's a wisdom save, can survival be, like, a sixth sense of, like, telling where stuff is? Like following gut intuition. Sure, we'll we'll go we'll go with survival for that. Okay, you get the sense. Um, actually, this would be roll that roll a knowledge arcana as well. Knowledge arcana. Okay, well that's gobshite, but no, yeah, yeah, no. Would you still have that bardic inspiration? No, I would not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this as a hunter. You know, people set out traps in a line to notify you, even your your clutch. You guys would send out lines in the nearby areas to know if something was coming near you. The lines, if they were hit, would, you know, create a warning. You get the sense that this is something similar. It's like an invisible line, though, between these two runes that are currently up. You duck under it, they won't activate. You touch it or trigger whatever it is it's meant to trigger them, they will activate. All right, so I just warn everyone to look at the... I warn them to look at the runes... Lay low as lo lay low as as best you can and walk under it. Uh oh, uh oh. All right. How, how low do I have to go? Crawl in your case. Oh shit! Borky gets down on all fours and crawl okay. and crawls. <laughs> all right, like Metal Gear Solid, Borky is just like uh, 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 and manages to make his way underneath these two runes. Uh, I haven't done the limbo since college. Oh my god. Da, da, panic, da, don't get da, don't da, get da, frilly da, on me. Da, 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 you watch his panic beautifully limbos underneath the two. And then he goes back for a second turn. I wanna see a, I wanna see an acrobatics check on that. Hey. 
You know what? Don't Actually, yeah, fine. Oh, Don't sorry. make this harder for me. I really want. Why you? Why are you bullying me? Borky, deep down inside, really wants to see Panic fail, even though that's his friend. Acrobatics, <laughs> you said. Acrobatics. Let's do acrobatics. <laughs> You had to say something, didn't you, Gaijin? <laughs> you had to fucking say something, didn't you? Yes. Oh I'm my not, god. I'm not gonna be, yeah. I am not going to be the only person that gets fucked tonight. You begin uh. to limbo, and you're just like, oh, that was really great. I'm going to limbo back. And you start limboing back to show off. You slip on some water on the ground, and you smack your head oh. onto the, the stone obsidian floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dead. You take... Oh, yes! Off two points of bludgeoning damage. It's nothing. Your hair is musted up too. It's not so pretty anymore. Oh, my perfect hair. My Are perfect you done? Face. So that's what uh, you get. All right. Greckles, Greckles just regularly crawls under it. Okay. All stealthily. All right. Don't well, now it. I'm, I'm going to fucking make damn certain I watch these walls for this shit going forward. All right. You keep looking, and then eventually the hallway breaks, and you enter a large cavernous basement. And you see under tarps of leathers and furs, uh, square forms, large square forms. Oh. You see a table to your left covered in assortments of magical instruments. Um, these black and brown box cases, um, a spray of books. It looks like the books have just been like, the person laid their hands on the books and just threw them off the desk. Gentlemen, start looking for evidence about uh... Dolmar's uh, dabbling with the undead or making something. Borky whispers into Tass here. Oh, real fresh. What's what, what? What's the evidence look like? Probably a book or a note. Borky sits up. Gonna... Borky just sits up and nods and just kind of walks away. <laughs> so, uh, so is that investigation? Everybody, investigation checks. Ooh. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. oh boy. there you go. Let's nice. See, let's see how... Know the everything. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll start with we'll start with Borky. You guys kind of split up and you look. Borky, you go up to one of those um, leather covered um, crates, and you lift up the tarp. And as you do, a giant boa constrictor snaps at you. It doesn't hit you. It smacks into the bar. It's enough to scare you. Ah! Close the door. <laughs> and the snake. Snakes. Recoil I'm indifferent back. to snakes. Um, who got the panic? You're kind of perusing around. You notice the cases, and as you open them up, they're already kind of half opened. You kind of flip the locks on them, and you open them up, and you notice turning. You see barrels, and as you look into the barrel, you see more of these cases in there. And as you look into them, they have insets in them, but they're empty. Hmm. You also notice there's a big, like a smaller, but kind of wider and taller, uh, large one. And you lift that one open. It's got a giant recess in it. And it's also empty. Mm. Gaijin, as you're kind of looking around, it smells horrid in here. You start pulling off more tarps. As you see Borky get almost attacked by a snake, you start pulling off more tarps. And you see dead animals in hundreds of crates. Oh, God. You see dogs, you see cats, you see um, there are small glass cases of scorpions and spiders that are just dusted with age. You pull off one, you see a hatchling, a dragon hatchling. Oh, oh, uh -oh. No. <laughs> oh. And as you're doing that task, you're looking around, something catches your eye, something that no one else would notice but you would. You see a journal with a seal in ancient Draconic on it, hiding almost as if to be hidden underneath a crate next to the desk, peeking out ever so slightly. Well, we're gonna go ahead and grab that shit. Alrighty. As you guys kind of re uh, meet up with task, I'm gonna put this into underfound documents. And I'm just gonna switch it so you can see it. Also, before we uh, go into the investigation of the book, there is one thing I want to do. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I, oh God, this is, uh, I want to try handle animal on the snake. You want to do, you want to do what? All right, you have the book in your hand. You haven't opened it yet. You walk over to the cage with the snake and the snake is currently, the tail is shaking. Like it's looking at you guys as potential meals. It's starving to death. 
you right. can tell it's starving to death. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, are one of the cages with the dead animals open? Yeah, but they're, like, rotten. Ah, uh, shit, right. Mm. Oh, wait, no. Give the snake one of my rations. Okay, you toss in a piece of dried meat, and the snake kind of coils around it. Okay. And rests oh. on top of it, staring at you. I mean, snakes don't have eyelids, so that's all they can do, but it's still staring directly at you. How, well, how big is this snake, by the way? Uh, this snake is probably about seven, eight feet long. Ooh. It's a big-ass snake. It's, it's a, a snake. It, it's not a small snake. It is a big snake. All right, well... Try to try to at least calm it down or bring it on like nicer terms, considering that I just fed it. Yeah, it seems so chilled out. It seems like it still has its eyes on you. I mean, the movement is kind of you know instinct, um, yeah. but it has kind of moved back because the smell of the ration now is like it's now searching for the smell of the ration in its cage. When we walk back outside, I'm opening the cage, but first, oh, holds up book. As you flip open the book. It's written in Draconic. Ooh, okay. This is all Draconic. Let me yeah. see what it's... Let me, uh, I'll, I'll start translating what it says to everyone. Yeah, I'll, I'd say read it out loud for the audience at home. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, where would I find this info? It will be under found documents. It should be free under for you. Found documents. Let's take a... Where's, where's, where's that at? Under journal or... It's up, yeah, it's under the journal at the top. Above party inventory. Ah, uh, so this uh, is Dolmar's Dalma journal. Dolmar's journal, yeah. I don't have anything above party. Holy anymore. shit! Get, yeah. Sit down, sit down, kids. We're about to have a fucking story and a half. All right. All right. Entry twelve. We brought in Nigel Rumblefungus to uh, Nigel Rumblefungus to assist us with the project. Artemis seems thrilled with the prospect, but there's nothing to gain from the gnome besides perhaps inklings and details in regard to his advanced research on soul crystals. I keep in fear. Uh, I keep inferring that we use the soul crystals, uh, that the use of soul crystals is not imperative to our line of work. We want to create a body to host its own soul, not simply pluck a soul from another living matter and place it into the host vessel. If we wanted to create an animated chair or a sentient weapon, well, then we might have, have a use for the Professor Rumblefungus. Until then, well, he's nothing more than weight on the project. The audacity of the man, too. Upon our first meeting, he gave me a book of his research. All these lesser wizards waving about their achievements. Nothing more than peacocks rustling their plumage, insulting and useless. In quotations, it says, The ever-shifting soul, the rumble fungus theorem. How utterly pro uh, pompous. And as you guys are standing listening, uh, you turn panic and you see that book sitting on the, on the desk, but it's kind of overturned. I pick it up. Okay. Entry 23. Traveling north for days on end, we've been looking into, a, into the intriguing and ever-present arcane fluxes in this new continent. we found many fascinating creatures and objects in our travels. Artemis believes that the nature of this con uh, continent may be the key to our, to our new life project. We ended up dropping rumble fungus from the project. As I hypothesized, his input was nothing more than useless. Good riddance. I can't help but feel mildly envious towards the professor. Walking in these, uh, walking in these white mountain ranges is harsh and narrowing. I ru uh, I've ruined some of my best clothes. Artemis better be right. This better be worth it. Entry 26. I'm resting in a cliffside camp this night. The only man with brains amongst these gorilla-minded merc uh, mercenaries. Artemis was taken captive by a host of small dragonoids. What? While these morons with their swords and shields scratch their heads, I'm certain these beings are what is known as kobolds, though I have never seen them in such a silver... Tess stops immediately at that. Fuck off, it can't be real. Is something wrong? They're talking they're talking about silver scales. Chromatic kobolds don't exist. That's a fairy tale. Well I mean you're reading a book. It's a journal. <laughs> That's different. Oh, it's real? Yes. Oh, uh, well what? we can we can assume it's real. Um I'm, hold on, I'm going to keep going. And some appear to be in behest of clockwork limbs and weapons, merely my imagination, I hope. Or perhaps Artemis' kidnapping was not what it seemed. Well, either way, if Artemis is gone, good riddance to him. We've had no headway, and all this travel has done me no favors. Entry 27. Artemis came back from, to the camp the next morning, covered in scratches and bites, smelling 
smiling like a child, sorry. He babbled on endlessly about something he said. She was here. She fell here. The ravings of a madman. Without argument, he agreed with me that we should head back to Alavast. He seemed so eager. I happened to, uh, what happened to him, I wonder? Entry 34. I am so sorry. There's like a whole bunch of these. Like a lot of these. No, you're telling the, okay. you're telling the story well. It's good. I mean, we're on entry 34. I'm looking at like there's a triple digits we're going into. Yeah. It um, jumps. It jumps. It jumps? Okay. Good, it jumps, good. yeah. Uh, let's see. Entry 34. Artemis has something. He's hiding it from me. A tattered book and blueprints. He's hiding them, scrawled in draconic. He stole it from the kobolds. What did he find? Why won't he show his partner these clues in all of this? I travel with him, and he traveled with me. We do, uh, do we not get to split what we have earned? Now he asks for books detailing my research. I've babbled excuses to dissuade this sudden drive of stolen madness. I will not be giving away my integrity. 36. This text is written... Oh, sorry. It's so really... the, te the text is written fast and furiously as if led by a mad rage. Yeah, the, this looks like almost chicken scratch in some way. He must be mad because I'm seeing a lot of anger in here. The absolute coward. My partner in all of this has stolen from me. I woke in this camp in the morning to find my research books gone. Upon investigation, I discovered them in a shared book table in the middle of an encampment. He copied my work, and now with utmost certainty, the work of others, he will regret this. I think we have a motive. Entry 54. After returning to Alavast, Artemis has made something. A clockwork man who walks and speaks, obeying simple commands. The council is enthralled, a completely new life that walks and acts on its own. A mind made of brass, a heart of arcane, and chambers, and their agency. My very work, the runic components that were my legacy for 20 years, Artemis stole the plans for this creature from kobolds. And now the perfect function from me, and now perfected the functions from me. And what was I called? And what was I called? A misdirected madman, a liar, and a thief when the true thief gains the glory and the credit? No one listened to my claims. Artemis's progression and past successes drowned out my reasoning. And now he is celebrated. The outcome doesn't matter. Who did all the work, partner? Who was the, my, what was my research worth? All stolen by a thief, just as I've always feared. Entry 223. That's a Apparently. A, that's that's hmm? a bit of a skip, but okay. Entry 123. <clears throat> yeah, entry 123. Oh, I'm joking, Gary. Don't worry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Apparently, Artemis Constructs uh, construct wasn't done sucking in all the glory for its impudent master. The thing is now fully sentient, showing clear signs of free will and perhaps even a soul. Preposterous and ridiculous. The components that are uh, that for the components that are not there, there is no soul crystal inside the thing to hold such a divine charge. Though, though, reading the observations I've gotten from papers, this thing created by Artemis claims to have heard the voice of the very goddess of clockwork itself. Could will alone be enough to keep that thing alive? Wretched as its master it is, I will not be fascinated by a twisted contraption of, smiling, of a smiling thief. Entry 145. Artemis' thing has made, its, uh, has made a name for itself. Might crank. A boastful name. I'm sure Artemis is proud. Why is uh, why it's all he can feel nowadays? An academy under his name. The council filling his pockets. These stolen construct children meeting, uh, meeting his every whim. And he holds his chin up high, all high and mighty, standing tall. The writing the begins to get yeah, sorry. The writing begins to get manic and wild. Thief and liar, creator of stolen work. He will not know no know this satisfaction. I'm doing this in character, by the way, because it's like he the task is having a hard He's time. He's translating it. it, yeah. Yeah. As long as I'm alive, I will see it. Everyone will see. Entry 168. Mike Crank has died. Smashed into bits by a giant. Artemis is mourning. I hope he mourns forever. He didn't deserve Mike Crank, but I know. I know. He deserved to lose him. He deserved to lose everything. He deserved to have everything taken away, just like I did. Okay, we're starting to get a little jealous, envious and a little bit more raven here. Artemis' egotism is his entry 191. Artemis' uh, egotism outflourishes his sadness, it seems. There is now a great statue of Mike Crank perched near the entrance of our district. A supposed tribute to the fallen hero, but to me a constant reminder of the token thief. I'll take I'll, I'll take a blade to it, scratch the truth into stone, stain the rock with red and crimson. There will be no peace for Artemis, as there is no peace for me. 
The statue is a strike upon my honor and a clear sign of Artemis's lack of. Entry 256. This hovel I've been tossed into is finally done. The damage done to Artemis's precious bike crank statue has finally... Uh, and my final strip of integrity gone. The council and all the magical peers from high and the middle arcane districts have discharged me of my titles and spit up a spit upon my crank, a spit upon me. I suppose it, that it, uh, that's it then. Perhaps I'm to die in, the, in this pathetic house uh, with my research to never create life or anything ever again. But perhaps my honor is gone. My stutter study is gone. My best friend is gone. Artemis, you've made me. Desmond Dulmar, crawl to your low. Time to steal some research. As the chapters progress, the writing becomes more and more manic. We're almost done, I swear. I'm sorry. This is great. <laughs> what are you complaining about? This is fucking great. Yeah. Cool. Keep going. Entry 257. Rumble Fungus's book is dry but educational. I've managed to... Oh, shit. I've managed to find a source at the docks that can provide me with what I need. I need soul crystals. Lots of them. Contraband of those shrouded priests of Hoketh. But the key to my revenge... I'll seek out the underbelly. There is someone there who can point me in the right direction. Uh -oh. Entry 258. The leader of the underbelly, uh, Everyman, gave me a contract to a sailor named Colton. He could get me all the crystals I need without any questions asked. Smugglers are a dime a dozen, but I should be able to cover my tracks later. Entry 267. Uh, Correlation between host, and soul, uh, host souls and objects are played... Uh, are in place in this proving... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, let me restart this again. Correlation between host souls and the objects they are placed in is proving difficult. This is not my focus of research, but still fascinating nonetheless. The rug imbued with a soul crystal containing a python seemed to have... seemed to uh, behave in the function accordingly. The sword and the scorpion soul seems to be compatible as well. The soul crystal size appears to correlate with the host body and the host soul. So I'm going to need a, the largest stone Colton can get his hands on. The writing becomes splattered and violent. There are areas we can see where the quill is broken through the parchment. Sit comfortably, Artemis. Keep smiling. You won't be smiling for long. I'll undo everything you've ever done. Entry 287. The writing is fast, scribbled, splattered, and wild. I have it now. A large soul for myself. A large soul gem for myself. It cost me what was left of my money, what was left of my integrity. A large soul stone for a large vessel. A large soul stone for a bigger man than you'll ever be, Artemis. And I have a way to be and I have a way for it to be smuggled into the middle arcana, arcana district to find the perfect vessel, my visage, my symbol of your downfall. Oh my god, is he actually going to use the statue? I'm going to take your glory and have it tear down everything you hold dear. Once I cover my tracks, I'll crush your skull in. Oh boy, strap yourself in. He's getting mad. I'll show you who's the big man now. Who's the grandest arc arcanist in, uh, that this world has to offer. I'll show you. And once I'm done showing you, I'll show everyone who has wronged me. I'll crush and burn any witness. The Alava uh, And Alavast will know how heroic your precious mic crank is. I will destroy you with which you've loved and nurtured for all these years. For all the life you've made, I'll tear down tenfold with my own destructive life. Alavast will be a garden of broken cobblestone and blood. Everyone and everything will look up to me, everyone. Don't you try and stop me. Your Mike Crank statue will no longer be a beacon of hope, but my avatar of death, and with those prying eyes. Entry 288. Die. Roll a reflex save, everybody. Oh, oh shit! I have danger sense. Do I get an advantage on that? You do get an advantage on this one, yeah. Okay, um, uh, is this, this is a reflex. Oh wait, save? reflex. Is it... uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. Sorry, I I I, I went into Pathfinder. Hey uh hey uh, just to just to let you know, you kind of rolled. You put down in parentheses roll dexterity save in the book. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's well, you know, <laughs> old habits die hard. I'm sorry. It's okay. I I've done that before. Dexterity oh, save. Dexterity save. Dexterity save. Oh, uh, Bork, he did not pass. Uh, I, don't, I have I have the advantage, so does that mean I get to re- Oh, no. you do pass then. You all pass then. Okay. Uh, the book, I'll see how much damage the book takes from this. One second. I have to grab. Uh, as you stare at that rune, it says die in Draconic, and you see it's just like the other runes you've seen in this building. It glows with an arcane power. 
yeah, books got wrecked. As you stand there, you just immediately throw the book. All of you dive under tables and behind objects, and the book just poo, explodes in a massive fiery, uh, fiery arcane explosion and scatters into drifts and tatters onto the ground. All right, okay. well. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find some spare parchment and pen and ink and start writing down as much as I can remember. Okay. And also, if there's any sort, if, if there was any sort of penmanship that made it distinct, I'm going to do everything in my power to use that expert forgery to try to replicate it. Okay, you can roll an investigation check to see if you can find something that remains that you could do that off of. Finding parchment for you task is really easy. It's all over the desk. Good, 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 good. Not real. You proud. find a corner piece that says Mike Crank, which it right now feels really creepy, but it's there and it's written in his penmanship. So it sounds like what it sounds like to me is did he transfer his own soul into something? That sounds exactly like it. Think about it. If what attacked him had wings, what statue is sitting out in the middle of the courtyard? A griffin statue. A griffin statue. Yeah. Shit. But hold on. So you hold on though. But he said he wanted to be but he said he wanted to be like Mike Crank, the big robot. But that's the griffin. So why if he was in the griffin, if you want to be Mike Crank, why is he in the griffin? Did he miss? Maybe <laughs> If What's, every if every, everything in this room is probably in a statue, uh, there are probably either he has accomplices or he can move from statue to statue. Oh, this is it's going to be really fucking weird and really hard to tell the guard. Yeah, so start destroying every statue. If we can I get mean, we... If, if we can get enough evidence. We, we know the code to get in here. We can get the guard in here. That book was pretty damning evidence, but I... <sighs> so damning it exploded. Yes. No, let, let's take it anyway. I have a feeling that even with this exploded, don't wizards or someone... Mel, we could ask her if she knows how to repair things. We could... It'd be possible. Mm. Yeah. Willow also might know how to mend books. She's in jail, though. No, let's take let's let's collect as much scrap from this book as possible. Destroyed evidence is still evidence. Is there uh, real fast? And is there anything else in the room? If I investigate, is there anything else I can notice? That's not really no. Stealable? You see is there anything else stealable? tools? Not really no. Everything uh, that's been of an importance has probably been sold to pay for this project or is just for the project. And at this point, given that the project's kind of done, there's nothing really left. You see some like instruments on the table, but they're like. First of all, old, and second of all, you have no idea what they do. You're like walking into a dentist's office, looking okay. at the machine, you're going, I have no idea. All right, while you're doing that, you want me to take the snake? Just has the box, the giant box with no. the snake in it? we should take the snake. This thing is, even if it is just a snake, this is the actual only living evidence we have left that proves that he's been putting things into other objects. You're wrong. Uh, uh, gentlemen, I believe we have another more serious problem. How are we getting out of here? Uh, back the way we came? No, he's a there is no back the way we came. Start checking these books. There might there might be something. There There is a saying that a fool leaves a password very close. Who said that? A fool. Yep, ah. a, fool, a fool who didn't, who uh, made sure that none of his stuff was locked or kept safe. Start looking I... for something that might be a password. Yes. Uh... Is the, is the password Mike Crank or Snake or Artemis is an asshole? I wouldn't put it past it. Mm. Mm. As you guys scour through the room, you find what remains of the binding of the book. Um, the source of the explosion being kind of midway through the book. Like there is some some uh, tattered pieces attached to the binding still. The binding is still intact. Um, so, and you managed to scoop up what isn't completely burnt, um, different pieces of this journal. And you managed, I guess you guys put that in the bag of holding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you bag. put it in the bag in of the holding. Bag. In the bag. Also, also, does Tass finally see this dragon body? I'd say at this point, yeah. If you were searching around. It is a, uh, green dragonling. 
a wormling. It doesn't even have wings yet. Task will stare at it for a few seconds. <sighs> Almost horks up a little bit. Hmm. Well, if I was a religious kobold, I'd be pretty frothing right about now. I... Never mind. Um, I'm actually gonna... Hmm. Nah, it's in the bag of holding. Never mind. Because... Hmm. Uh, wait, I'm gonna double check. I wanna check my character list real quick about the dragon god that we were gods we were talking about before. Let's see, here we go. Ah, here we go. Orthrox, forgive me for what I'm about to do. Is there any way I could carve something off the dragon? Looking at it, it's been there probably the longest. Nope, I still wanna get some bones. Okay. Uh roll a survival check. Can do. I didn't click it. <laughs> uh, you managed to get a horn. It's small. It's a baby dragon. The teeth aren't even in yet. Um, and the claws have already been taken out, it looks like. But you get a horn. One single small dragon horn. That's fine. I'll take it. We should all take account of what, he what corpses are here. For all we know, the souls of whatever these things are are in statues somewhere in the city. Wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. The souls are in statues. You don't think... Steve... Think about you... it. All this upcropping of sentience just coming out of nowhere. The thing that weirds me out is that... How much of this is true that they're actually getting sentience and how much of this is actually, like, them just having souls put in them? It would be difficult for them to actually have souls be put in them. It's not like they just get put in a closet where Dolmar could just go in and put a soul crystal in. Right, but he seems to be the only one in this entire town that knows how to do that. Oh, then right. again, then again, that is rather strange that they're only just now starting to gain sentience if, with all these murders going on. Ah, uh, here's the thing, though, right? If uh, he can, like, come knock a lot of guys, I'm a little bit lost here. Uh, so if he can, like, put stuff, so you put, like, something in something else, right? Would it make sense to put that dragon inside the griffin? That's what I think. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. Oh, man, yeah, I did it. But here's the thing, is that we saw the statue just stand there. What is... And when we went back to the middle Arcana, like, I guess it's a knowledge check, but just to double check, when we went back to the uh, Arcana district, were the statue still there? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe they come out at night. That's a thing. I think they only just come out at night. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I think. Yeah, maybe they're stationary Wait. during the day. Maybe they're ordered to. Gargoyles. Mm. You said wait, Greckles? I wonder. The first time we ever came across this, it was a mage dropping from the sky, splattering in front of us. I would be more inclined to think that the griffin might be coming to life. <laughs> taking things and, and dropping things from the sky you know who... that's that sounds likely also i i think this is definitely our culprit i mean all these names we've heard so far have been that uh, people have been murdered were attached to this research yeah. i mean i mean yeah abacus cold or not abacus uh artemis yeah. uh, artemis when we get out of here first person we should go talk to He's Professor Bumblebee. As you guys are standing here, you find the the air hard to breathe. <clears throat> we should we should discuss this once we get outside. Yep. We need well, to start looking for an exit. Uh go over to the cage where the snake is. Unlock it and roll another Handle uh, animal. animal. Greckles Greckles leaves. <laughs> okay. Do you want me just to take it outside and do it? We don't it would, have a way out. So. It would be impossible. Yeah, we don't have a way out. Plus, it would be really hard to push that thing through uh, all the narrow passages. Nice. How did you get it in here? You manage a uh, task to coax the snake. You find a sack, and you actually, a huge sack, and you actually, probably what it came in, um, and you actually put the snake into a sack, tie it up, and you guys, you're going to have to carry it because you put it in the bag of holding, it's going to suffocate. No, that's fine. I'm going to have Tar, and I'm going to have it be put on Tarisk. 
All right. You see the bag kind of move and writhe around a little bit, but it's on Tarisk. Yep. So I'll I'll stay by Tarisk. So in case this thing starts getting antsy, I can do handle animal again. Okay. You guys make your way back up to the main floor. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys make your way up to the main floor, mm-hmm. and you guys rest. You get a short rest. Okay. Um, because you're still locked inside. We didn't. F- unfortunately, we didn't find any way to get outside. That's the problem. Yeah. Wait a minute. Whoa. Yo. Okay. Uh, how does that ring of uh? How does that ring work? Uh, looks over to panic. Uh, it. Well, it doesn't anymore. It only had one charge, and it was specifically for the spell magic missile, and I used it to save our asses. Damn. I was kind of hoping that it had some kind of effect that it stores the magic missiles and fires it out. Uh, that would be awesome, but uh, guys, as far as I know, guys, I have everyone to give back. Borky cracks his neck. Uh, everyone, get back as far as you can. You're going to hurt yourself. No, not me. It's time to put our faith into someone. Borky pulls out pickles. Oh, okay. ah! I get, I get, I get in the other room where the freaking ladder is. Yeah, okay. me too. That's right beside the door, guys. <laughs> All right, you set, you set down Gripples. Oh, uh, everyone, get behind me. Borky's like right by the bed. I'm getting behind the bed. Get behind Panic's Borky's going under. <laughs> Panic's going under the desk. He's gonna pull a chair in front of his face. Grackos, get out of that room. He's right beside the door. We don't know how big this is gonna be. Get behind uh, the bed. Get behind right. the bed. Get behind the all bed. All right, all right. We just and I'll just get behind the Borky, bed. Panic. Borky just stands there. Just puts forward. Just holds holds gripples up like Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Places him down carefully. Gripples, I choose you. Attack right. and points right at the door. You watch as the uh, like the um, dark stone penguin with the piercing red eyes begins to liquefy almost, like bulge out in like liquid oh. until it takes the form of a large emperor penguin that is completely black and has the same peering red eyes, except for now they're orbs and actual eyes that blink. Oh. Oh, it's soup! <laughs> oh my god, it's super gripples! It turns and looks at you, Borky, and then awaits its target. The door. Gripples begins to waddle slowly back and forth. Borky it, jump. Borky it, jumps it, over it, the bed it, and hides it, behind the bed with everybody else. Roll it's a so D one hundred, Curtis. It's so <laughs> cute, but it's so terrifying. A D one hundred. Let me just real. Fast. Oh, I don't like that. It gained real eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, super. Super Gripples! Okay, roll one, D100, and... Ah. It fails. Gripples ah. goes to the front. <laughs> Steam comes out of his mouth, and he falls over to the side and slowly becomes his little figurine self. God damn it. That blows. Borky goes up and grabs him. As you do, Borky, you hear something. Hmm? Hey. <laughs> you see all of you as you guys kind of get up after the explosion you see something a form moving in that peephole orb Borky, oh! can, can Borky, Borky Borky has gripples on his hand and can peek through can Borky peek through the hole yeah Borky you peek through and you see this currently staring back at you oh, oh! oh! Borky turns away Borky looks back. Borky turns away. Borky looks back. Borky turns away. Looks at the guys. Yeah, I, I someone outside. Who is it? Uh, Fucking hide! I, you know. Uh, can a, I roll stealth? Who is it, Borky? Uh, Borky looks back. <laughs> you guys don't know what this is. Only Borky's seen him so far. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh. It's bad. As he says that, you hear a <laughs> as this claw-like sound, like almost the beginning of Bioshock, like the splicer, like crawling against the 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 sphere, reeks across the front of the house. Bork, can Borky rage real fast? Ah, uh, you're you're in a house currently. Uh, can you... I? <laughs> I really do want to hide. 
You I, should, okay. You hide at this point after hearing that. You have a reason to now. Borky, okay, Borky, there's a Bork, Borky's running back. Borky's running back to the bed, yelling at Gripples. You did this. You did this. <laughs> oh no! Please. You did this to yourself. What are you doing in my house? And you hear a boom, boom, boom on the door. No one's home. <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> Fine. It's all right. I don't need to live there anymore. There are better things for me out here. Artemis was just the beginning. I'll have to deal with you. Or perhaps I'll just leave you in there to starve to death. There's no way out of there. I made sure of it. By the way, come here. I have something I want to show you. Uh, don't don't go no. near the man who knows how to take souls out. There's a door between you guys. A door? Yeah, like you yeah. guys are in the house and he's outside. Like he's We're not in there people. with you. Okay, Bork, can can Borky go up towards carefully, like go up towards the door again? Okay, you go carefully up towards the door. You look at the peephole. Yeah. What do you got, big boy? I got this. And he lifts up the currently broken jawed body of Marcus Sweet in his hand. Oh, oh fucking shit. Oh no. You talk a lot to random strangers. It's a good way of getting them killed. And he grabs Marcus. He grabs the legs of Marcus, who's just at this point, just like he's bleeding out of his head. He looks terrible. You watch as this giant statue of Mike Wright grabs the back of his legs, the top of his torso, and begins to wring his oh, body oh like a God. towel. And Marcus, with his jaw broken, you just hear, ah, ah, like, just wailing and crying. And you hear, Whoa. Yeah, he's, then, yeah, he's killing Mark. He's killing the weed dude. Yeah, he's killing him slowly. Ah, oh, it's gross. And after a while, you hear a <laughs> and he just thump, drops Marcus in front of the door. I don't like you. I've seen you poking your head into business that's not yours. I hate people like that. Artemis, the smuggler, even all those pathetic weaklings down in the underbelly. I hate all of them. You know who I hate worst of all right now? B Borky, Bork, since Borky knows there's a door between him and Borky's actually kind of mad. Yourself? No. Oh, really? That uh, little mage we... girl of yours. The can one we, I overheard can... you talking about. Can we all my... hear this? You can all hear this, yeah. The little mage girl you were talking about. The one who was wrongly convicted of my crime. She's guilty by association. I think I'll pay her a little visit. And then you watch as, and you see now the wings are built up of that memorial that was around the statue, shards of the memorial, come back together on him, and he takes off into the distance. Panic runs towards the door, and he's going to try to shoulder bash this thing down. You run in and pff, no give whatsoever. You stay the hell away from her! Can Borky try and rip, just push the door as hard as he can like, rip the door off towards him, like, with a strength There's check. nothing to grab onto. There's nothing. It's just flat door and then that small, smooth orb in the middle. I'm checking Didn't... the... I'm gonna check the... What's it called? The desk for, like, anything, like a password or whatnot. Okay. You guys are struggling. You're slamming up against the door. Greckles, you're still hiding. Oh my god, that's scary. Um, <laughs> panic, or panic task, you are panicking and digging through all the documents. There's nothing there. And as you guys are stopped bashing on the door, you hear a sound. <sighs> little dragon dude. Push little everyone. At, little push everyone. Get I push everyone the fuck out of the way. I'm here. The coat. Little dragon dude. The coat. The coat. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Where's uh? Can we go back? Oh yeah, wait, I have it written back. down. No, I have it written down. Uh, I'm just fumbling with my fucking shit right now. Um, question. While he's doing that, does yeah. uh does magic work through this door, or is it completely anti magic? It absorbs magic. Yeah. yeah ah, fuck. Okay. Uh, da, 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 spells bio. Here we go. Yellow, blue, light blue, red, green, yellow. Uh, 
One at a time, dragon dude. Yellow. You hear... Blue. <laughs> you can do it. Light blue. You can do it, man. You can do it. Red. I've seen a lot of red, little dragon dude. You got Don't it. Don't talk, just do it. You got it. Okay. Green. Green. Yellow. You kill that bastard little dragon, dude. You kill that asshole. Aye, we will. Yeah, bro, I will. Does the door does the door open? The door opens. Immediately fucking pop that elixir of healing in his mouth. Fuck it. You grab him, you put the elixir in his mouth. Nothing. Oh. Throws the bottle against the floor. Runs, fucking books it. Books it to the prison. Uh, Otherwise. yeah. Uh, Panic. Um, Panic is going to uh, stay by the body for just a second. He's going to cast Thaumaturgy on himself, and he's going to scream, Guards! I need a guard! All right, and you guys all book it? Borky, Borky just sits, Borky's like, just, just roars as loud as he can. Borky's, I, I, can Borky actually switch out a weapon real fast here? Oh, yeah, totally. That, that axe ain't gonna be good enough for this. Borky reaches into the bag of holding and pulls out that fucking Warhammer. Alrighty. I can, can we add that to my inventory? Can we add that to I my I will grab that no, for you. Which, is, which, which, actually, you did the smart thing because we're fighting something that's made of stone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Borky, I need something better. I'm gonna smash a bash. Because you killed a man who is too sweet. Don't know why I gave it to you twice, but I'm going to delete one of those. There we go. Thank you. All right, you guys are running, and as you're running, you hear screams and shouts. Um, as you turn quarters, you see guards currently occupied fighting. Statues of the fountains are coming to life. Statues are coming oh, to life. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God. Oh, man. All you guys, they seem occupied. There's nothing really you can do. And right now, you know exactly where Dolmar's going. Yeah, so, no, go, go, go. Just go, go, just go, 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 go. Yeah, we're all running. So you guys are, I'm going to change the music up here to be a little bit more hectic. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I, I'm really wishing that we could do, like, actual fucking FF music right now, because Nine's run theme is in my head right now. So you guys are running and running and running. You're not even stopping at the checkpoints. You're just rushing through, and the guards are like, hey, but you just go. You're booking it. Statues are alive! Borky yells, statues are alive, watch out! What? You guys keep running. You go into the clergy district. At this point, there's tons of guards fighting. You see the guy who was working the desk at the at the uh, prison currently fighting three gargoyles at the moment, smashing them to pieces. Nice and one, you guys press on. You keep going forward, and you get to the prison, and you notice part of it's collapsed in. Fucking find a way in. Fuck it. You go running towards the door. I want you to roll reflex save. All of us or just him? Just Task, if Task is running forward. Yep. Nice. nice! Yeah, that's great. You, like, slow motion, you run, and then you see, coming out of invisibility, the hand of the Mike Craig statue sweep back to smash you back, but you just dive backwards and avoid the shot altogether. Ha! Huh? I don't know how you got out, but you're not getting out of this Fire one. at his mouth! Shut the fuck up! Roll an attack? Yep. He's gonna get a surprise action as well. Yeah. That hits. I gotta grab his nice. stats here. Yeah. He said, I don't know how you escaped! Easy! Boom! Alrighty. Can Borky rage? Uh, not yet. He's gonna use his uh, his surprise action. You watch as he lands on the ground and his wings that were these pieces of concrete and like this memorial stone spread out and make a cone like fatum, fatum, around you guys and arcane uh, energies build a wall around you guys. Ugh. Good. Now we have you all to ourselves. Oh shit. No, don't forget task. You only have two. Oh, sorry. I'm in the game. Sorry. Go ahead. Did we, did we get any sort of I may have misheard. Did we rest at all? In you had a house? short rest, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we get so we get hit points Nine. back. You roll yes. your hit die. Oh. So you guys are level two, so you roll two of your hit die. 
can I, I, I can't, I can't go past max, correct? No. No. Okay. I only lost one hit point, so I'm back at max. Regardless. Yeah, I'll just say you're back at max. You're at one. Wait, why did I get one? I was supposed to roll two. What the fuck? Uh, re re roll, man. There, there we go. go. I'm full. I'm full. Okay. Yeah, I figured that's what you guys were doing. Like, you guys had a moment in the house to rest. It doesn't bring back spells, but... Right. You that's have fine. that. Alrighty. Oh, oh, also, I am now... Wait, no, I'm not down. I still have the same amount of arrows. Everybody roll initiative. Uh, did he take the 10 damage? He did. Good. That's great. This is, this is- You, as you shot and uh... fired, it just tink and scattered across his form and he kind of <laughs> shrugged it off. I'll have to roll his initiative. Yeah, that's good at that. Holy shit. Okay. Having only one enemy makes this really, really easy. Also, I have to say, uh, shout out to Jack Kaiser for doing the art of Soul, Contra uh, Soul Concentrate Dolmar. Oh, oh that was yeah. beautiful. Oh, man, they looked, that looked so fucking terrifying. I will show it again, actually, real quick. Please do. This is, this, this is who we're fighting right mm. now. So imagine the Unexpectals fighting something so damn dire and drastic. I feel like we're in a Dark Souls fight. This yeah. really feels like a Dark Souls fight. Roll. Okay. Borky starts rolling immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got that acid dagger. Oh yeah, this that I'm so glad I whipped out the hammer. I was like, yeah. No uh, problem, buddy. <laughs> don't drop it. Alrighty, panic. You are up first. Actually, you I, look I, as oh, you look. You, you minimize uh, the list. I don't. I don't see the initiative list. Sorry, on the screen. Okay. There we go. Uh, panic. As you look at this giant, colossal, magical being, you notice he's got five uh, segments in his chest where there are those glowing spheres, like the ones um, in his house. You also recall when you saw the statue in the garden, his pose had his arm over his chest. You couldn't see it before. Now you see it. There are five stones. Currently, one is, uh, two are glowing on him. You also look past to the doorway of the prison and you, you see rock crumble. It appears to have caved in. Okay expecting the boss fight holy shit all right um it's kind of unexpected wouldn't you say oh, <laughs> oh here we go this is now i'd like i'd like to uh i'd like to quote something from amadeus if i might ah thank you that's good, that's well. <laughs> it's well said task it's well said all right panic what are you doing uh, i'm looking at the range on this right now um uh, 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 uh. Ah, okay. All right. So Panic is going to uh, uh, sling his guitar into his into his playing stance, and he's going to say, "You may feel like a god right now, but rest assured, once I'm done with you, you are going to feel very mortal." Yeah. Borky kind of uh, raises his eyebrows like, mm. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely. All right, fun. let me roll this as an attack spell. He ha. He turns to you as you say this. <laughs> you try to attack a mind that is long gone. I am soul concentrate. It has no effect on him. Shit. Aww, lame. Does it do the damage? No, no, no. Wow, really? Nada? No, he's immune to psychic wow. um, based attacks and abilities. All right, well, then he's going to turn to Borky, and he's going to be like, Wow! Bork! Bork of the Ark! Bork of the Ark! It's Bork of the Ark! Borky, like, spins that hammer around, starts playing it like a guitar himself. I feel... <laughs> I'm really feeling it. <laughs> but it's his turn now, so look out for that. Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. It is now his turn. You watch as one of those uh, cores on the front of his chest begins to glow, and he turns invisible. Oh, shit. Uh, Rut-row. Can, can, can Borky's danger chest doesn't affect him at all? Uh, nope. Roll them high perception check, boys. That ends his turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. Jesus, uh, would perception help? A perception shell can help? Yeah, you could it. listen. You could listen for him, yeah. Yep. Shit. 
Oh. You hear the crumbling, the sounds of screams and sword clashes in the distance. You, you just, it's so hard to focus right now. You have no idea where he is. Uh, um, in that case, I'm going to move over here. Wait, well, hang on. I have I an idea. I, I assume I can move through through people. Yeah. Um. Let me get there. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ready an attack action um uh, to dart at one of his five cores as soon as I can sense where he is. Okay. If you're aiming for a specific thing, you take disadvantage. That's fine. Okay. Um. Okay, are you moving? I moved. It's lagging. Oh, it's lagging out? Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll it's, it's, literally, it's literally three spaces to the right of Tarsk. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just got a connection server interruption warning message. Uh, no worries. So I might be offline even. Uh, I'm reloading in right now. Yeah, same here. Dang it, That's people. Why, why you got a D&D &D right I, now? I, I'm doing, I'm doing I, I, no problems on my end. I'm just gonna refresh anyway. Yeah, I got no problems on my end. No. Okay, cool. Now I see. Okay, that ends your turn. Yep. Borky, it is now your turn. You just saw your enemy turn invisible and disappear. Borky just takes a deep breath. Can I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest something. Borky pulls out his water skin, uncorks the top. Remember, he's dumb. But can, okay, fine. Never mind. Um. I'm sorry. Is no, he stupid? It's okay. But is he that stupid? Like that's a more of a survival thing than anything. You could roll. Yeah. You could roll a survival to check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I roll survival if he can do this. I want to. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. yeah, survival. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't see it. I want to waste my space. What do I got? Lots of. Looks rope. That won't work. Water. Well, I'm kind of thirsty. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's a Joey realization. Survival. Uh, where is survival? Go faster. Oh, okay. At the bottom no, of the I'll, list. I'll, I'll say you can just do that. I'll oh. just say. Okay. You can do it. Yeah. All right. I won't be that mean, I guess. Borky throws <laughs> it to the left and to the top, kind of like in a, the top left arc with his bottle of water. Ping. Ping where you want it to go. How do I ping again? You click go on the, the arrow and you, you click and hold. Just double click or right there? Hold down the mouse, yeah. And You're gonna throw it there? And up there, kind of like that arc between those. Can I just, can you just, can you just throw it like in that general direction, uncork it and just fling it that way? Yeah. Okay. You you do, it shatters, and nothing but flat water. Not there. On the ground spews up. That ends your turn there. You can have Borky, a bonus action. Uh, Borky rages. Okay, Borky, you go into a rage. <laughs> can he, can he Task, it is now your turn. You can surely, move if you want to. Surely, surely he had blood on him from taking out Marcus, and surely that blood must be dripping. Survival check. Okay. Let me see. Where's my thing at? I lost it. Ooh, buh, 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 buh. Damn it. There we are. Nice. Nice. You stop. There's no blood. He's a clean killer. You stop, and you close your eyes. You t you're taken back to the caves. You're taken back to listening to rock on rock. Footsteps in the dark. Your eyes flash open. He's right behind you. Is he engaged with me? Because I want to move. You don't know. Fucking goddammit. Uh, okay, well... Actually, no, you got a natural 20. He is not directly behind you. I'll give you that. Okay, You cool. can move. You know All you're right. out of threat range. Sorry, I forgot it was not 20. All right, so I will move here and take a shot behind me. Okay, roll with disadvantage. I also will say out loud, behind, uh, he's behind me. And buh, 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 buh. I keep losing this fucking page. It's retarded. Come on. Uh, here we are. Okay. Let me check his AC. With disadvantage, that's a 22? No, you get 14. You take the lower of the two. Ah. 
You fire and you miss. Ah. Uh, do you use your bonus action to command Tarisk? Yeah, I, I, I tell Tarisk to try and swing, like around here. Okay. Tarisk moves, and he swings in front of him, and he swings into air. There's nothing there. Fuck. Panic, it is now your turn. Where the fuck is he? I just said he's behind me. <sighs> Question, rapiers are, um, are they Standing. finesse weapons? They're what? Are they finesse weapons? Yes, they are. Okay, just so you apply it. It'll, it should have in your thing. It applies. Uh, dex, it applies your dexterity bonuses to it. Yeah, I needed. I need. I needed to edit that because I had it on my strength still. Okay, I'll fix that for you. No, I what are you doing it. though? Panic. Oh, you're dead. Uh, okay. Uh... Well, I know he's directly behind Task, but I. Uh... Oh no! I moved up. Like I moved up five squares. I know, yeah. but he 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 was directly behind Task, and now he's. Oh, no. Somewhere in that vicinity. Yeah. Without knowing. Oh, jeez. Hey, quick question: Is that snake still on Tarusk's back? Yep. Hmm. Uh, I guess. I guess I'll. Uh... I guess I'll. Uh. Bardic Inspiration, Greckles, and hold my action. Okay. Gave blue to Becky, but she would not let me smash. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Once I find him, I'll smash him all right. And I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my action, and, and uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, if he tries to take a swing at me, I want to dodge. Okay. Is there is there a rule for ready to action like increased AC value in this no. edition? No, no, uh, there's not. Alrighty. You watch as the form returns, these shades, and he points directly at you, Greckles. Roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh, oh good. No. The initiative list is missing again today. I know I'd move it because oh. I need to see. Okay. It'll oh, come okay. back Oof. when I'm done. Oof. Bardic inspiration, my dude. Bard yeah. Oh yeah. yeah um, let me get that D6 up there. Yeah. Nope. Not 15. Nope. You feel yourself float. You begin to. You, your feet lift off the ground, and for a moment, you're like, "Hey, I'm flying." Oh no, I'm not flying. You raise up 20 feet in the air. Oh shit. Whatever, I'm and used to being in the air. Oh my god. Dolmar, Dolmar turns and twists his head and he goes, I've never liked animals. But I like to see the birds fly. And then he is going to move. Does, oh dear. It, does, does Greckles have a ready to action, actually? He does, yeah, actually. I do. He can throw. Uh, 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 I'm so panicked. Yeah. Me too. Ah, uh, that misses. Oh, wait, don't I get the Bardic Inspiration, or is that that one roll? No, you already used it. You already used oh, okay. it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm unsure how it works. As you're floating up, you grab a dart, you throw it at it, and it just pink bounces off of his shoulder. Fucking just... god damn it. <laughs> Greckles, you are floating. You can still do stuff, but you just oh, can't yeah. move. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to uh, pull out the acid dart that I bought. Okay. Um... I guess I could just roll a regular dart shot, right? Yeah, you just roll a regular dart. Wham! Nice! Damn. You can't! Roll damage. Daddy. And so that that's... D4. Okay. Sah! Nice! As you throw the dart, it hits him and he kind of like... <laughs> and he starts screaming as the acid bores through the stone. And is like, he's trying to like, cr he's like scratching at it, trying to get it out as it's burning through a hole near the five gemstones. He grabs oh the dart and he throws it to the ground and he looks up at you and he looks very mad, almost I... like a furnace burning. He snarls at you. I'll throw my second dart then. I got to my two shots. Okay. 
Roll well, son. Uh... Miss. You throw again, and he just lifts up his forearm and deflects it, and it goes flying <laughs> out of the arena. And that ends your turn. He's out! Borky, it is now your turn. Borky just yells at the top of his lungs, It's time to get Oki! It's time to get Borky! And he, Borky just runs straight forward. You can only go 30 feet. Can Bor Borky only... Borky, like, jumps off of Tarisk into the air and throws his lightning spear right at right at him, right, aiming for the, the actual orbs. All right. Um, let's have you throw first. Isn't that a cold attack? Oh, shit. You run, you jump onto Taurus, and you hear the snake slip. You step on the snake on his back. You jerk. And you throw the lightning javelin, and literally, Dalmar just tilts his head to the side as it veers past him and explodes into a pillar in the distance. God damn it. This guy's annoying. Task, yeah, it is, is now your turn. Fucking fire on his ass. Okay. I want to aim. I want to fucking aim where he just took that acid damage. Oh my Ooh. Christ! Oh, in for heaven. Love of God. Task. I'm gonna roll severity. It was fucking inevitable. That's what the fourth, fifth critical roll we've collectively rolled. Yeah. This, yeah. This is, really, this is. This is a bad luck session. No, this is not good, especially with a boss fight. Mm. Okay, I rolled low severity. I'm trying to think of what would happen here. You pull back your bow, you aim, and you step, and you slip on a cobblestone, you let loose the arrow, and it shoots off into the air, into the distance. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, we're both so bad at aim. Ah, uh, it just... is now Tarisk's turn. In like two turns, just get him to be right where you are. <laughs> you have spells too, Task. I, you have your archery, like your... No, oh yeah, don't you have Hunter's Mark? You have like Hunter's Mark and like... I, I, I didn't know that was a thing, but... Yeah, you, we leveled up at level two. You get Hail of Thorns oh, and Hunter's yeah. Mark. Oh yeah, that's right. We fuck. sat down and did that together. I, I know, but, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, well, fuck. Okay, okay if, you, if you cast a spell, you can't control uh, Taurus because technically he's an item and he takes a bonus action to use. Can he just like go hit him, I guess? That's what I told him to do last time. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack, the spell creates a rain of thorns that spouts out fucking... Okay. Uh... Until the spell ends, blah, 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 blah. Check you made. If the target drops, until the spell ends, you deal 1dx6. Okay. Uh, well, I fucked up Royal. Let's see if Taurus can actually hit him. Okay. Taurus bounds uh, around Borky, like, running with so much, like, ambition. And he is good going drago. to attack. He's a good drago. He's a good boy. Oh, that's a hit. Nice. That is Thank nice. God. He rolled really? oh, We don't want. We don't want to throw it. We don't want to ruin the session by having things hit. <laughs> God. Not my, not my Talk fault. Just being spicy tonight. I, I'm mad. I want. The, I want the fucking lightning spear to work for once. It just keeps missing. <laughs> oh, you... okay. Taurus is out for blood. He rolled a six plus. Where's your strength, buddy? Plus three, so that is a nine. You watch as Taurus slides and like bites down on this thing's legs, shaking and pulling stone off. And Dolmar screams this deep, echoing howl as your dragon rips off part of his leg. Nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Man, Tarsk is MVP this fucking game. Yeah, he really it, has. Yeah. yeah, he really is. He's really done quite well. This is the best he's rolled roll in a while. Panic, it is now your turn. You look up and Greckles is like, ah, 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 like currently floating up above you. You're watching a dragon currently biting onto the leg of a giant statue that you had a lovely time looking at and you were kind of regretting looking at. Oh, mm, for Steve. Uh... For Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for us to actually have to fight her. Uh, Panic's going to look up at Greckles. He's going to look all around the arena. Uh, can, can I take, like, a free action to talk to Greckles, or... You can say something really quick. You can't say, like, a paragraph, but you can be are like... Are you okay? Hey. Yeah. Are you, are you going to be okay up there? I'm fine! Okay. Uh, and he's going to move down here. 
Uh, hang on. Uh, let me just see if that's the correct spot. But yeah. All right. So it's going to move down here. And I'm going to mage hand and try to retrieve the electric javelin. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, you do so. You summon your mage hand and it goes through. It has no problem going through the barrier. It looks like it only affects like living matter as a bird's flown into it and it just poof, poof feathers. Um, <laughs> your mage hand goes through and it grabs the javelin on your turn. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm, oh I'm, sure. I'm gonna... you, you don't hit the guy, but you hit a fucking innocent bird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the rapier and and just bring it back to me next turn, and uh, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow my last bardic inspiration on Borky. Yeah, but and I'm gonna be like Bork, 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 His name's Borky. Borky, get in, Borky. Take him to Suplex City, big guy. Oh. Welcome to Suplex Nation. <laughs> okay. It is now Dolmar's turn. Why do I just he... imagine the bird just go, the Greco's father. <laughs> father. Um, gosh, this guy has so much stuff. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with him. Oh, good. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's not... Next oh, you're gonna... gonna... What Next fucking gonna... first world problems you have? <laughs> Next you're gonna Again. tell us he has legendary actions. Okay, oh. I'm not that mean. I want to remind everyone, we are level two. <laughs> I hope I... 14 plus, that's 20. Um, oh, but Taurus does get an attack of opportunity because he doesn't have a Warcaster. Um, Dolmar, hearing you play music, turns, and the centerpiece of his gemstone begins to glow. Uh, he rolled a 20, I assume that hits you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take five points of fire damage as he oh, launches wait, a fire from his chest. Yeah. Wait, I'm a tiefling. So I have resistance to fire damage. So it's halved. Yes. So I take two. You take two points of fire damage as the <laughs> flames encase and flow around you. It hurts a little bit, but boy, you look cool right now. <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt? <laughs> Uh, Taurus does get an attack of opportunity. Yeah! Fight the shit out of him. He hits again. Yeah, Taurus! <laughs> Taurus! No. Taurus! Taurus! Taurus is fucking MVP. Okay, buddy. That's why you're D8. They're good dragos, Bront. Jesus! Okay, Taurus does 11 points of. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh thank God. Fuck me. Best All right. Boy. He rips out more stone off of Dolmar's leg. And Taurus, he rolled, he rolled an eight on his d8 for damage. Yes, it's Tark, Taurus, best attack dog. Yeah, he is. And it, as, as like, as um, Dolmar is looking at you, like he's gonna fire another bolt. That's when Taurus grabs my leg and like distracts him, and he can't seem to attack you again. Greckles, you are currently doing kind of a loop de loop thing, but you're you're okay. You're keeping focus. I just imagine yeah, Greckles yeah, floating. Yeah, yeah, I'm very just. <laughs> I've been I've been up in the air many a time before. I'm used to this. Let's do it. I assume I assume a 13 isn't gonna hit. No. All right, second attack. That hits. Bam. Nice. nice. Oh, good roll. Bam. Good rolls. Thank God. You hit him in the socket of his eye. Yeah. He can't blink, but he's just kind of clawing at it to get it out of the way. <laughs> well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> All right, you can't move, sadly. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky just runs up behind. Uh, Borky runs up right behind. Um, Dolmar. Dolmar, thank you. Sorry, Dolmar. I was just Dolmar. Borky activates reckless attack. Okay. Borky takes the warhammer and just hits him as hard as he can in the back of the fucking head. All right, roll the hit with advantage. And now, now, quick question. The Warhammer changes damage a little bit on him, right, of stone? Uh, you don't know. All right. You'll have, to see, you'll have to see if it does anything. That hits. Damn. All right, plus yeah. I got rage activated, plus... There we go, and... 14. 15 points of damage. That's a really good hammer roll. Yeah, thank you. Ho... Oh. Oli Oli Oxen free, Mr. D, and just hits him in the fucking back of the head with the hammer. 
Nice. That is 13 plus 2 is 15. Okay. Nah! As you hit him, Greckles, you slowly begin to float back down. Nice. Onto the ground. And as you land, you look up and you see now pachink, 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 rolling across the cobblestone of the street. One of those gemstones has been smashed out of his body. Excellent. Nice. Awesome. Task, it is now your turn. Task out of nowhere just feels like some kind of like energy pulse through him through his fucked up arm of all things. Gripping the arrow, he feels the. I, I know I'm monologuing. I apologize. Oh, I do it all because time. This is the this is the first time he's using magic. Gripping the arrow, he puts his finger on the blade of the arrow, and it splits down the middle in five ways. Hail of thorns. Okay, you will hit. Uh, Bonus action. Yeah, where are you targeting though? Because you may hit Borky. Let's. I have a hundred and whatever feet, so I'm gonna aim. Whoa, 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 no! I don't want that! <laughs> I'll delete that for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm aiming right here. Right there? Okay. So, fire? Please, God, hit. Please, God, hit. <laughs> Forky winces. Yeah! Oh! That hits! Alright, so I do my damage, plus, let's see Nine, what the spell here says. 1d6. Oh, he has to roll a, um... He has to roll a dex, a dex throw. Which is his worst stat, if you can believe it. He fails. Yes. 1d10 piercing. Nice. Roll an additional 1d10. Nice. Oh, yes. Woo! <sighs> Task watches the arrow split in fucking half, like, in the middle of the air, and rain down into five ways and looks at his arm. What did I just do? You watch as, as Dolmar s swings away. He's currently covered in tons and tons of magical arcane arrows. And you notice the shield around you guys, the arena, flickers a bit. As you notice, one of them has cracked one of the gemstones in, in his chest. It's still powered, but it's still powering things, but it's damaged. <laughs> You're all beneath me. That ends your turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Oh, Royal. Let's see the good. Boy. I, I guess for I guess for free I guess for free action keep hitting. Yeah, Tarisk, uh, you have the command for him to attack him, so he will attack. Well, he tried. He was he got two. They he all rolled. can't be. Well, it, it's six. okay. They all can't be showstoppers. No, he rolled a, a lovely little six there. So, nope. Um, as Tarisk is like bearing into the leg of Dolmar, um, Dolmar just pulls his leg loose of him. And Taurus just <laughs> spits out rock and then snarls and hisses. Panic, it is now your turn. Your clothes are fairly singed. You're kind of quasi shirtless at this point. Uh, Again? I'm at, so I'm, I don't know how this keeps happening. <laughs> I think it's the universe trying to tell me something. Oh, hey, look, a spear. <laughs> you bring Does back the spear. You can take it to Borky, too. No, uh, no, no, no. I, I think I'll I think I'll deliver it to Borky uh, via this big fucking statue because I'm about to huck this javelin right at it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I was I'm so excited. So I was so hoping you were gonna yes, do that. Yes, please. So um, okay. so panic, panic grips grips the spear. He's never really done anything like this before. So he he grips the spear and he uh he like points his hand forward at the statue like Souther style, and he's like. guide my hand and he's just gonna whoo, chuck it right at the guy okay do it do it so um what is the uh d20 what, plus your strength plus you are strength? not proficient yeah uh i'm guessing the javelin isn't dexterity there isn't uh, no. finesse then no uh shit okay. well there's hoping you get okay. a roll don't forget to add your strength i know i will subtract my strength Oh. Oh! oh! No! You hit! Oh, yeah! <gasps> All right. Uh, <laughs> bringing it back, baby! 
I realize now your lightning of javelin and your thing isn't doing the proper damage type, Curtis, as I'm looking at this. Oh, okay. Well, we can correct so I'm right gonna now. look it up. I'm gonna look it up right now. Sorry, guys. Let's take this moment to say this is the best. This is this is so exciting. Holy shit, this fight. This is, the turnaround is real. Okay. Uh, Javelin's magic way. You speak its camera. Chance pull. Uh, there's no commandment for it. Uh, line within 100 feet. Must make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Dolmar, it's your best skill, and he fails again. Yay! Um, roll 46. Oh! Oh my God. Oh! <laughs> and fucking then glorious. Roll 1d6 plus your strength modifier. Oh! <gasps> Okay, it's 20 points, it's 17 points of electric damage, and then 3 points of piercing damage. That's really different. Oh. One to that, so that's 18 points of damage to him. Yeah. That, is, right. that brings him to... Okay, you throw the javelin, and you're thinking of Willow. You don't know if Willow's okay, you don't know where she is. You throw that javelin with your magic, and as you throw it, the arcane presence to the mage hand just flares up as if fire itself, and you throw, and an electric crackle snaps across as it contacts his head, and his head explodes. Oh. The dart <laughs> The dart in his his high like scatters next to you, Greckles. And he turns up, and now the arcane presence is flowing out like a vaporous mass out of his head and he turns towards you absolutely furious. Hi, you scum sucker. Oh, I'd love to see him take two attacks of opportunity to hit, to, to go that way. Oh, please, come, come into my yacht, Douglas. <laughs> okay. Very expensive. Very my head, expensive. my head was very expensive. <laughs> I'll have you know. And um, with, my, with my bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Borky. Okay. Oh, I'm full health, man. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're all full health. Extra, uh, extra, uh, short rest. What? Yeah, didn't you just take? Didn't you just take nine damage from that, uh, hail of thorns? Did I? No. 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 He, no. He, I. He, no. I didn't hit him. He angled it. He angled. Yeah, oh. We're all, we have not been hit yet. We. We, we are doing really well right now. <laughs> Do I have any other bonus? Oh, well, then I'll just. I'll, I'll get horny then. I'll I'll. Uh... What? Whoa! 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 whoa you know what I'm talking whoa, about. I'm gonna freezing. use my barb. I'm freezing. using my barb. I'm using my barb devil blood. Oh, oh okay. okay, okay, it's different. Okay, okay. It's different. That's, that's different. I has two meanings. <laughs> okay, All I, right, I, you so... go full Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, just <laughs> come on, big guy. So what did the... Okay, so someone just said you broke my statue. <laughs> you broke my statue. Alrighty. <laughs> Dolmar, despite not having a head, turns his attention to Borky at this point. Oh, what's going on, big guy? You're, awful, you're awfully small for a gnome. He's... Oh. 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 Nice. Just for that, this is going to do an extra amount of dice of damage. Oh, no! Uh -oh. oh, no! I'm just I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Why you point at me? <laughs> you have to Sorry. be Sorry. I need to... It's only game. You Why you have to be mad? You're Where the hell is... Sorry, I where, where are my special baked die that only land on 20s? Yeah, where is it? Where's, where's Vel's dice? Oh, crap, there goes two more dice onto the floor. Goodbye. Sorry, guys. I am not well organized today, apparently. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Uh, Dolmar's chest glows in the center again as he turns to you, Borky. Oh, that's seven. That's ten. You take ten points of force damage. Force damage? As a as a barrage of magic missiles just blast into your chest. Oh. I can't minimize that, can I? No. You can't dodge it, it automatically hits. Oh, damn. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's why magic missile's fucking great, it's an auto hit. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then he's going to rear back his hand and claw you. That's a 14 plus five, that's 19 to hit. Yeah, it hits. All right. You take three points of slashing damage, which is cut down to one as he swings his hand and slices across your cheek. Eh. <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking A. Jesus. <laughs> what a hell of a hit. Nice. Okay. So Freckles, it is now your turn. Uh, f would I get fl do would I get flank bonus? Uh, oh, wait. Hang on. Here, or would I need to be here? 
Uh, you would just have to be, like, a sandwich. You'd have to be opposite of where Borky is. Yeah, okay. so either of those two spaces is fine. It's like half a sandwich. Some How of it's in that. Oh! Oh, it's 15. Ooh, guess what I'm gonna do? Uh, actually... I'm gonna go up here. Um, do I get sneak attack damage? Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Alright, well... Let's give this guy a stabby stab with the... Where are you, my friend? Oh, god damn it. Oh, Not again. No. Oh my goodness, that really... They're back. And no. better than ever. As you go to swing, Dolmar lifts up his arm, your arm collides with his, and the dagger slips from your hand, and lands on the other side of him. I will note it out with a... Yeah, we can ping that. Yeah. It lands right there. This, this, this dagger right. is not getting any action. This is, no, it's not. I'm sad um, because it's a great da they're great daggers. I know! And then <laughs> I'm going to bonus action disengage the rest of the 15 feet over here. Okay. Nice. Alrighty. Borky, it is now your turn. Borky just breathes deep. <sighs> just standing with his arms to his side. Looks right up at Dolmar's half, half head. Hey, can I ask you a question? You ever heard of someone called Ron Fault? No? There's no reply. No? Then you'll be in the same club when they ask the same question about you. Borky swings back with his axe. Reckless okay. attack. I mean, I already have a bardic. I, I already have bardic inspiration. Actually, I don't need to hit that, right? Bardic. Bardic. Just no. oh, oh no! You oh, have it's... advantage on the attack because you're reckless attacking. It's a 17 that hits. Oh, oh thank, yeah, God. It, it hits. thank heavenly Christ! Thank Curtis, God. Curtis, bardic inspiration doesn't give you advantage or disadvantage. It gives you a d6 to add to any roll that you make. Oh, except for damage, right? Except for damage, yes. Okay, here we go, and then 12 blood. Nice. Okay. Oh, Plus 14. two. Plus two for raging. Plus... 14. So that's, yeah, okay, that's 17. Uh, seven then, okay. That brings it down to, okay. Alrighty, Task, it is now your turn. Task is looking to make lightning strike twice. Okay. Alright, let's see. Don't let's fail. See. <laughs> Don't well, no, up. no, 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 no. Here's the thing, it's just like, he's like, wait, what did I just do? And then he sees that everyone's like, not doing so hot. Let's see. Let me let me double check what Hunter's mark is. You choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage whenever you hit a target. Oh. All right. There is now a small upside-down arrow <laughs> on his fucking chest. All right. He's hunting. It's all coming together. <laughs> Oh my god. I hope I'm not the only one that gets the reference. I don't get the- I completely missed the reference. What is it? Go ahead and tell him. Uh, okay, so, in WoW- Oh Hunter's my god. Okay, that Oh my there. god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Fuck you! Oh. That hits. And then roll an additional d6. Nice. Oh my gentle lord. Six, six, six. Yeah! yeah! Nice! <laughs> So, okay, I want you to now picture that the arrow is going towards Borky and then magically curves to hit him. Yeah, it does. It's beautiful. Dude, you're straight up doing, uh, oh god, what's that one movie with uh, Angelina Jolie? Wanted? You're wa yeah, you're, wanted. You're doing I'm want doing wanted shit. You're doing wanted shit. Time to curve. As you let loose your arrow, it strikes Dolmar in one of the crystals and it just shatters. And you notice him flicker in and out of invisibility. He's like, <laughs> no! Like, he's freaking out at this point. Get him, Taurus! Taurus, come on, buddy, do it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. He rolled a one. No! Damn it! What is up with tonight? Uh-oh. Roll the severity. Taurus goes to bite at Dolmar's leg, and Dolmar kicks him in the stomach. No! You oh. shit. Oh, no, he the snake. One point of damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, punch My him. baby. Yeah, he didn't him. roll very. Oh wait, I forgot to add his his strength bonus. I'm sorry. Oh fuck's sake. He takes way more than that then. Yeah. No. Buddy, he's okay. He's looking a little banged up, but he's he's holding didn't he, in there. Didn't he get extended rest too? Because he took. Oh yeah, he did. He, I did restore his health points. Okay. 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 Got yeah. It. 
Panic, it is now your turn. Oh, I really thought that javelin was going to take him down. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me just check my spells real quick. And this would a bang. Well, if you insist. Uh, whoa, wait, no. I'm just going to check this out real quick. Oh, I know right. what you're doing. No, I know exactly. I'm going to move to here. Okay. He's going to he's going to go uh, I can't whistle. He's going to go. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You asshole made of stone. Domar's headless body turns towards you. Nobody threatens my friends. Oh my god, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Sporty. We are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thunder wave. Let's go. All right. That's force damage, right? Thunder damage. Oh, thunder damage. Thunder. Okay. Does that knock stuff around? Yes, it does. It does. They have to do a constitution Ooh. save. Can you click the spell? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was about to say, because the <laughs> dagger is right there. Here I go, guys. ka Oh! Oh! DC 15 constitution save. He got a one. <laughs> oh! Yes! Boy! <laughs> Roll an additional D6 on top of that. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah. You've been thunderstruck! Thunderstruck! <laughs> you stare, your eyes furrow. You stare at this man who has killed tons of innocent people, potentially. He's hurt people you love. He almost tried to kill you. He killed someone you liked. You bring down your fingers on the strings of your guitar. Your claws now long due to the um, sharpness of your quills on your back. You strum your guitar with all the force you have, and it blasts a hole right where the stones are, and that section of stone scatters back, almost hitting Taurus. Taurus, let's see if Taurus dodges out of the way. No, yeah. my baby! He rolled a 19. He dodges out of the way. Taurus dives underneath as the stone cracks into the ground, spreading all the different marbles coming out, and you see one large stone in the center, glowing. And as there's a hole now in his chest, he claws the claws slow and the statue Before he before he falls to the ground, he's gonna panic's gonna look up, he's gonna be like, You've been thunderstruck. You just pulled a Persona 5 overkill move right now. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go get my dagger first thing. Cursey as I walk. Borky just sits down. Oh! Task is looking at his arm like, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, right. You got me right in the tits. Oh, fuck. Wait, no, the prison. Fucking, we gotta get ourselves out of here. Yeah, we gotta go find Willow. Borky, Borky, yeah, grab, panic is... Borky grabs his warhammer and starts bashing the shit out of the body. <laughs> just the head. Okay. Over and over and over again. The, head, oh. the head's gone. The head's gone. He just, keeps, it's, he just it's keeps. He just keeps. Done. He just keeps. Oh, good it. thing. Good thing you said that, buddy. I want a prize. It's hitting it over and over and over again. Yeah, let's see if we can scavenge those gems yeah, before yeah, we yeah. go see Willow. Okay. As yes, you go over, the marbles are done. They look like um, roll a knowledge arcana for whoever um, wants to. Okay, Gaijin, you have no clue. Yep. Or, sorry, Gaijin. Greg. I am. Why? Why? Why would I? <laughs> You look at the you look at these um, orbs, and you've seen this in, in human traps for for kobolds. You've seen people set up traps to trap your kind to study them. Um, these are used as kind of a like a a, a conduit, like a like a, a force, like kind of like a, a focus glass in like a lens. Mm. Um, and it looks like looking at the stone. There are tons of runes in all over the inside of the statue. By the way, as you look closer, you see where all the markings are, all written in Jaychronic, fire, acid. Uh, frost, and you see all these different things of, of fly, of invisibility, and you remember, if you recall, um, Dolmar was um, lose, lost his status due to vandalization of the statue, and as you look, you notice that these 
etchings of the runes are all were attached to these these conduit orbs on his body. You also notice the stone, this glowing red stone in the center, is now resting on a pile of rubble, untouched amongst the, the uh, destruction of the rest of the body. I am not touching that with my hand. I am putting some cl- We need cloth. Someone fetch me cloth. Borky reaches into the bag and rips out one of the, the little gnome jacket. No, that's good. That's thick. Wrap the stone in that. Do not touch it with my hand. You hear a tiny little voice as you wrap it up go, No, no, I was so close. I was so... And it just wrap it up. Nice. Yep. We, in that, we have assault. We have, gentlemen, we have our evidence. Awesome. We you need to notice go... as Taurus walks up, the bag with the snake slumps over and you see red oozing out of it as Borky's little stunt may have killed the snake. Oh, you goomba stomped it. <laughs> you oh. fucking jerk. Oh, it's my bad. I've... I could. I'm mad he killed, he killed Steve. Skin the snake. Um, while they're all doing that, I'm gonna go find Willow. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah I'm someone. gonna do that as well. Borky, all right. Borky, Borky leaves as well. Borky puts his warhammer so, Someone, over. Someone will stay with the corpse and make sure it's fucking like, okay, so I'll leave that to task. You guys go. Um, as you panic, uh, roll a survival check, by the way, um, task. Panic, well Greckles, and Borky, as you guys go to the door where you entered the jail the first time, you open up the door, there's just stone completely caved in. <laughs> okay. You cut your hand. You're, you're so shaky right now, task, as you're doing this, that you're just like, what happened to me? And that, that freaks you out a bit, and you kind of just don't want to mess with the snake. You leave it. Fair enough. I'm um, yeah. I, I'd imagine he'd be too fucking shocked at the fact that he just pulled off magic. That's never happened. Um, as you guys look into there, you realize you remember that there is uh, around the way. There's probably another entrance. Let's do it. Um, you guys go around the gate. Um, you find the other entrance, and as you turn around to see the door, you actually see there's a huge, um, hole where acid has burned through. It looks like Dolmore may have used most of his spells to bore a hole into the prison. <laughs> what a dumbass. Um, it's a slope <laughs> that goes in. Wow. There's a slope. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, there's a slope that goes in, and you see stone has fallen due to the structural integrity being destroyed by the acid. Oh, good. Panic's. No, go ahead. Panic's just gonna try to, like, rack his brain and try to remember where Willow's cell was. Uh, you get the sense since this was his target, this hole probably leads there. It's gonna walk through it, or try to anyway. Uh, acrobatics check, it's like a straight hole down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you manage. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, do you need me to do acrobatics as well? Yeah. Okay, sure. Or athletics if you want to like rock I'll climb do, down. Cannonball! Borky, okay. Borky spins in the air and lands perfectly in the superhero pose. No, you don't do that. Because you you do that if you did acrobatics. You climb down like a like a mountain climber carefully and okay. strategically. Oh. Uh, Gaijin, on the other hand, does some sweet flips, parkours, jumps rock to rock, side to side until he reaches the bottom and lands in a cool pose. Oh, I wanted to do that. <laughs> uh, panic, panic! You slip a bit on some of the acid that's still there. Some of the the rock melted rock is kind of oozing. It's very a weird sort of chemical sensation. Uh, there's some silt and soot, but imagine uh, uh, then you land into what looks like half of her cell. The other half currently is buried. There's probably only about like a few feet left of what was her cell. The rest is completely covered in rock. Panics. Is, does was there any signs that she's there, or are there any blood spatters or whatnot? Roll investigation. You can all run it, roll investigation since you're all there. Yeah, we're all there. Um, panic, you're digging through, you're digging through rock, you're, you're searching feverishly. You're not seeing any signs, you're not seeing any blood, you're not seeing anything. Gaijin, as you're standing there, you're kind of looking around, you feel your feet rise. I jump off, I, I jump off to where I'm standing and just try to dig into it. Okay, you manage to dig into it, you see the white eyes of Doros. <clears throat> His arms up, it looks like he's bracing up the rubble. Are you all right? 
<laughs> Not for long. Borky, get in here. Help me dig. All right. Borky gets in there and starts moving all rocks. Th all three of you roll um, strength saves. He's underneath a giant slab of stone. Oh, man. Huh? <laughs> oh! Oh, my God! The power of love. Jesus, tab dancing. Crazy. That's the power of like. <laughs> That's the power of like, even in the middle. <laughs> the power of. We just met. I mean, uh, Borky, she's a look, friend. You're starting to get, like, great, like, work on this. Greckles, you're holding on and you're kind of being lifted up. You kind of have your hands on the outside and you're just kind of, your, your feet are dangling. You're like, eh, eh. But then, panic, you run over and you take your hand and you just push that rock with all your might, all your spikes coming out, the demon blood in you is just fire right now, and you push it off, and the rock shatters, and you see Doro's kind of crumpled uh, underneath. And as he sits back and lifts up his arms, you see Willow right there next to him. <sighs> is, is she all right? Uh, her head's bleeding. She appears to be unconscious. Oh, well, I'm I'm gonna uh, just uh, give give uh, give the I, I fucking Doros. forgot his name. Yeah, Doros. Doros. I'm gonna give Doros a health potion. Okay, Doros. Uh, you you he he you hand him a health potion. He grabs um, Willow, and he very gently uh, pulls her out of like this hole. And he's he's shaking. You notice he's bleeding really badly. Um, and he places her next to you guys, and he tries to pull himself out. And you notice he's having a hard time. His his legs appear to be stuck under the rock. Uh, can we assist in some way? Yeah, strength checks again uh, from Borky and yeah. uh, Greckles. And then panic roll uh, for your potion. Strength save. Uh, what or, was it, that? Uh, 2, 2d4? Plus 4, yeah. Is it a strength save I'm rolling or a strength No, check? it's not a strength save. It's supposed to be oh. a strength. Oh. Well, uh, athletics, <laughs> athletics check. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh, those, those, were, those incorrect. Okay. Okay, you heal her for eight. Okay, she's back up. Um, so you guys, I realize those were strength saving because I'll let it slide this time. My bad. Um, we're no, sorry, it's okay. Sorry. I might, I may have said it, so that would have probably been my fault. Um, uh, Forky, you're like trying to lift up stones and you're just kind of throwing it, but soon you're just kind of lifting up stones because it's like a workout, and you're just like, wow, we're working out, and you're not even picking up stones that are near Doros after a while. Greckles, your speed, you were like digging out small stones, like you're just like tossing them side to side. They're smashing up against what's left of the wall. They're gong, they hit the, the iron bars of the prison cell. Eventually you get Doros's legs free and there's a lot of leg to him. So it takes a bit of time. And eventually he crawls out. They are mangled, they are broken and they are bleeding profusely. The back of his head and his shoulders, you also notice down his armor, there's a lot of blood coming out. Um, Willow looks like her head's been hit um and her arm may have been hurt quite badly but other than that she coughs a bit and she wakes up and she goes oh, yeah. mr panic i'm right here you're going to be okay and he's gonna pull out the the wand of healing did i die nope <laughs> i mean either way it's an angel or a devil so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's okay he, he can be your angel and your devil I can be your angle or your devil. <laughs> uh, as you as you pull out the wand, she lifts up her hand and goes, No, you gotta help Mr. Doros. I gave him a potion. I thought you gave her the potion. No, um, I gave him the potion. Oh, okay, he didn't accept it. He was still trapped. Uh -huh. Um I'll say he grabs it off of he placed it next to him, he grabs it and he drinks it, and that's another forty four plus four. I'll just roll that for himself. That is five plus four, so that's pretty good. It doesn't cure him of his wounds, but he manages to find the strength to crawl out and sit next to uh, Willow. Then I'm going to use the Wand of Cure Wounds on her. On her? Okay. Yeah. So that's another 2d4 plus 4. Ooh, I need some big heal. Huh. Nice. Nice. Hey. You managed to patch up the wound on her head. Um, her arm still seems like it's a bit banged up, but it's not bleeding anymore. Um, and I'm going to change the music because you found them. Um, and you guys sit and they just kind of, they catch their breath. Um, you don't really have a sense of how long they were down there, but, um, 
it uh you can definitely see the stress on them what a day huh uh, really are you guys okay where's We're, mr task he's uh he's fine he's uh he's out um guarding the uh the assailant would would, yeah would you call it the corpse i mm. i would call it powder by the time borgie got done with it (laughs) borgie's chuckling moving rocks still (laughs) yeah you guys did pretty good oh you did good Uh, i think you i think that's the first time my my freaking spear ever hit anything i didn't even throw it which reminds me don't forget don't forget to remind me to take that home with me uh, Doros, you watch as Doros places a hand on his chest, and he does lay of hands himself and heals himself as well. Okay. And he steps up, and he looks out of the hole, and he just turns to you guys. I think it's safe to say that we've found the real culprit. We Doros have plen- slowly nods. We have plenty of evidence. Task is holding on to some of it. Uh, I have his soul. <laughs> be, ca- be careful. We actually fa- we actually found him in a soul crystal. Make sure that nothing touches it. Doros nods. He looks up, and now task at this point. You're at, you're near the hole, and you're looking down the hole. And Doros is looking up to you. And he gives oh, you, you guys are right down there. He gives you a thumbs up. Task nods, salutes to him. He salutes, changes from the thumbs up to a salute. Um. And um, we're going to do a jump cut here, I think. That's cool. Um, after you guys apprehended Dolmar, uh, the city was besieged by what were his early stages of his attack. There were statues that came to life, but they were dispatched by the guard uh, quickly and effectively. Mm. Um, over the course of the night and the following morning, um, Willow was escorted by Doros back to, um, back to a different cell. Uh, just temporarily until everything is sorted out. Um, her wounds were tended to. Same with Doros. Um, they collect the body of Marcus Sweet. Um, he did not survive. He died. Um, nice. And the house is currently under complete lockdown. Dolmar's house is under complete and total lockdown. There are now about 20 guards um, keeping that place completely guarded. Um, since the door is now open, you guys provide them the code. I assume you provide them the code. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. They now have they have people, especially from the high Arcana district, coming down and now looking at it. Um, they collect all your evidence. A uh, day passes and Bork comes back, um, and you hear that he comes back and he's seen all the evidence. And you guys have about a week where everything's getting processed. You spend a lot of time at your tavern, recuperating, relaxing kind of going over what happened. Um, mm. Is there anything you guys would like to do in that time? Yes. Uh, yes, there a week, is. A week yeah. has passed. Officially, um, the murder was solved. There was an announcement that the murder has been found and captured, and you guys were accredited to the capturing. That's right. Um, Fuck yeah. You also received a message from a tiny Kenku messenger, a Robin. <gasps> Kenku. It is me, only- the Sparrow Prince. They uh they show up. It's a female Kenku. Uh, hello. A uh, message for the uh, unexpected heroes. Uh, that would be us. Yeah. Uh, oh yes. Uh, this is a message directly from Brooke Bronzefang, uh, from the Upper High District, uh, sir. And she salutes. Greckles takes it. All right. Thank you. Bye. And she runs, trips, falls, <laughs> then gets up, dusts Whoa. herself off, and runs off into the distance. What's it I say? Like her. What's it say? <laughs> uh, Greckles opens it up. Let's see. Dear unexpectables. I just wanted to thank you first and foremost for your service to the city. What you've done has gone far and beyond what I would expect of a common civilian. You have proven yourselves to be not only strong warriors, but intelligent ones as well. According to our agreement, I will be ensuring that your payment is received, though given the nature of this thing you had to deal with, this murderer, um, I'm going to see about improving some of the items that you have requested. Ooh, What's it say? You hear in- that, Borky? <laughs> <laughs> they think you're intelligent. That thank, please. I'm a, god- <laughs> I'm a goddamn genius. 
In the Shut meantime, up, I also would like to proudly say that Willow, uh, your friend Willow has been proven completely innocent okay. and has been escorted back to her job at the Blue Dragon Emporium. All funds from her college have been actually, fully refunded to her. Actually, someone just nice. someone just actually someone just messed said something literally I was about to suggest, which is really great. But it's a better way of putting it. Uh, I'd like to be. Could we maybe have like a soft meeting where they decide to name the bar? Because I actually want to do something in tribute. We'll talk about that off stream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, this could not be okay. Um, as you read through the letter, it goes on to say Willow has been proven completely innocent and has been escorted back to her job, uh, the Blue Dragon Emporium. Also, she's been reimbursed for the time spent in jail, as well as the failure of uh, complete protection um, by the Avon clergy. So she's been compensated for that. Um, and they also says, oh, and here's your particular item back. But there's nothing. And then you hear, I'm really sorry. I forgot about this. And she pulls out a parcel, a round parcel. Task will take it. What's it say? Task looks at him with like half a glaze and just opens the parcel and shows the cabbage. It says bag, Borky. the cabbage. There is a note on it as well. What does it say? It is Artemis's report on the object. Ooh. Oh, a dead man's report. This is going to be so good. Fucking, it's a fucking bomb. Take cover. It'd be really funny if it ends with, I sure love... Does it say die on it? Because I'm never reading that word out again in Draconic. Yeah, just real fast, when you read it, it just just, protect, just add at the end of it, I sure love living. It'll make it funnier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there... Oh, do I... It details out, um, item is result of, uh, archaic influx. Source of creation is unknown. Potentially a heart of Nerasmon. A what? what of what? A heart of Nerasmon. Can we make checks to see what that might mean? Knowledge religion. Or knowledge arcane. One or the how other. Do you, how, do you, how do you spell that name? Riazan? Uh, N e r a s m u n. N e r a s a i m. S m u n. S m u. All right, I got that. Rasmun. Uh, yep, the Rasmun. The Rasmun. That is new. We don't have anything on this person. Oof. That's, a, oh. that's an eight, by the way, because of wait a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, that is that is an eight because of jack of all trades. There Why do I know things? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Task, when you were going on your late night walk, when you, when you met Marcus Sweet, rip in peace, Marcus Sweet, um, you, before you ran into Marcus Sweet, you did overhear two mages, um, talking about Nerasmon, and in their conversation, you were able to discern that this is the god of arcane, the source of all magic, potentially. Well, gentlemen... We have a religious artifact of the god of magic itself, apparently. Well, uh, can there be like an awkward time? Porky's like, let's let's hit it with a stick. Taz puts his hand on Borky's face and slowly pushes him away. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. No, I want to touch it. <laughs> no, no. We, I have a better idea. Didn't we already try that? Yeah. We uh, you still tried. have the letter too, by the way. It's uh, not completed yet, but. Oh, okay. Um, after that, Robin's still there, by the way. By the way, her name's Robin. Um, the messenger. That's good. That's strong. She's like, huh, huh, okay, I gotta go now. Bye! And she leaves. She bows and then she leaves. Um, she seems like a very hurried person. Um, it, the letter goes on to say, I want to thank you so much again. We very much appreciate what you've done. Um, I'll be sure to provide you a significant amount of Alabastian credits as well as the aforementioned payment of gold and items. Hmm. Take care of yourself. I hope to see you soon. Um, specifically at the Alavast Yearly Festival. Ooh, summer it should be starting up here pretty soon. Hmm. Summer, fe oh. summer Festival episode. Yeah, we Take have a care. Couple... With honor. August. May I, may Avin guide you. Work Bronzefang. Oh, it's nice of him. I need to did get... It, did, it, hmm? Sorry, did it by chance say when we could go pick up our spoils? No, he said he was going to hand deliver them to you, if you recall. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Real fast. I need to get me a yukata. <laughs> Borky, Borky, do you even, even know what that is? I'm Borky, just... do you even know what that is? No, I don't know. I just read it somewhere. And I can't even read How? You, you can't, can't read! read! Oh, damn it. I saw through my illusion. 
<laughs> it's okay, Borky. I still think you're cool. No, well, that's good. That is a mistake you make, Tiefling man. Helga's just cleaning a glass as you guys are conversing. One of many. And that is where we will end our session. What a hey, session! Boy, howdy. Woo! Nice. Love a love a dub dub. You don't love yeah. it. You don't level up yet. Uh, that's hey, 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 hey. It's not like we got twenty arcs whoever planned. We just we we won. Nadine, I'm gonna tell you right now, what a fucking cool ass story that was so slick. Mm hmm Just this this fucking guy who just went mad with revenge. It's it's such a great idea that he I was half expecting you to go, he's a lich. No. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Guys, we we, she... we averaged over one thousand viewers for the entire stream, apparently. Nice. Hot damn. Hot damn. That is, it's kind of crazy. Um, that cup sorry, is full. Sorry for making you read a an essay there. Um, oh, no, it's, it's fun. I just, oh. I just felt bad. I just felt bad because there's hey me. I'm like, okay, A, I know I'm going to flub a couple of these words. And B, I'm just like, oh, God. Like, I, I'm worried that, yeah, it's time to ham up, like, like uh, talking and shit. But for that long, I'm just like, am I slowing things down? No, it's intentional. I mean, it's you're you're finding information. So hey guys, we uh we currently have more viewers than Geek and Sundry right now. Oh come now! Oh, 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 oh come now, guys! We all know if we were on head to head with their biggest show, we would be small little puppy dogs. Oh yes. <laughs> nice. Also, freaking Tarisk MVP. He oh, was rolling really well. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I got like I got I got like I, I love that every time you keep telling me like oh like. Things are gonna go bad for Tars because he's kind of an item. I'm like, is he now? I feel I I, I want to actually I want actually want to I almost want to call either the the bar the Unexpectables or the sweet Drago. Yeah, the sweet the sweet the sweet dragon. The sweet drag the sweet dragon. This is dude. I, I think we could agree. Can we not agree on that? The sweet dragon. Yeah, I can. Yeah, the, su that. the sweet dragon and the dragon's just holding up the Bullet Club sign. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there, we go. there you go. That's good. The me, see, me, me. Yep, there it is. I think I think it's all unanimous. The sweet dragon. The sweet, the sweet dragon. The sweet dragon. Your guys' guild can be called the Unexpectables, and the tavern itself is the sweet dragon. I like that. Yep. I really do like that. Yeah. He's got a hoard of candy. <laughs> Aww. He's got a bowl of art of uh Abacus's candy. Too, too, oh shit. Too sweet, too, too sweet to me, Hootski. Dude, it's Taurus holding up a bowl of sweets can of this of the candy. Oh my god! Yeah. We will have Everyone to. We will, like we'll, to we will have to talk to a logo artist for something, maybe possibly to do something really cool for that. That sounds like something that would be fun to put on a mug. Oh fuck yeah! Oh man, that'd be dope. All right, we, I, have, oh, we have so to... many, so much art, and okay. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> start start <laughs> sending it to the Discord. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna. I just there's so you, much. You, uh, there is one thing though. You kind of did say like, is there anything you want to do for that course of that week? And we said yes, and then it kind of ended. So I'm just like, oh, okay. can we do it? Can we do it off? <laughs> can we do it off screen in between episodes? Uh, no, we'll do it next. Well, I just want to say you guys have some time just to sleep. Like, okay, that's all okay, it really fair, was. Fair. Like, you guys literally just went through hell and high water, and now you you have that week of just, like, I'm going to stay at home and oh. sleep for a few days Sky and Blue relax. Shanks with 1,500 bits. I'm working on theme musics for all the characters. Any, any oh, music? Oh, yeah. oh. Uh, well, first of all, I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, Task is obviously... I'm sorry. Uh, Panic is obviously metal. Oh, yes. Um, the, uh, Greckles is obviously Naruto. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to pick for this. Um, I'm sorry, guys. We're probably not gonna be able to show all the artwork. There's a, there's quite a bit. Pick, you pick and choose what we can. Today. I'm gonna well, pick and choose some. I'm gonna first show this because this was pretty fun. Um, and I want to apologize that we can't show everything. <laughs> oh my gentle. Oh my goodness. Yeah! Oh, let's, okay, nice. now, now there was a you know from all who remember from the pit episode last week, we met a a a, a faction of people who are kind of an interesting comparison to our team. I can't, why can't I copy paste that? One second. Like uh, an interesting ooh, copy link. Jesus Christ, sorry, I get mad at this thing sometimes. Paste. This is, I guess, dubbed the Unlikables. I love this logo so much. It's been, we don't have an Unexpectables yeah, logo yet. Guys, guys, we found our heels. Oh my God, it's the heel, God. it's the heel team. I hope they come back sometime. The, un, <laughs> the Unlikables. <laughs> I love them. This is so cool. Who did the art for this? Oh, God. I just... Oh, there's so much. 
I think that's that's King of Citrus. King of Citrus. Uh, we got to ask King of Citrus to maybe do some work for, for, like on, on on some of these because some of these character designs. Yeah, because I want to see him do a couple of NPCs. I mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we're, I think we have. That might be good because I'm gonna, I'm gonna need NPC art. <laughs> This is this is this oh, is this boy. is this is crazy. I actually would love to see him do like the full on un un expectables with a logo too. That would be dope as hell. <laughs> I love this one because it's kind of memey. This is amazing. This one, it's by Task. It's Task reading the book. <laughs> Wait, one sec. We're gonna, well, I'm gonna do the first one that's seen all snake link real fast. Your King Citrus added again. I would love to see more of this. The unlikables are pretty cool. All right, here we go. Uh, we have we have some we have some panic grim tongue except as a as as a as a as a moe. Now we have uh, I don't we don't have all the artists here. Who do we have for this task? The, the, uh, the artist, oh, oh, the artist for the the the, the sailor panic one is uh, Michinho. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, who's the person below uh, the that King of Citrus one, the one with the really cool task art? That was Lux, uh, Lux art. I, I I'm trying to get the art and trying to I have to scroll all the way back down again. I, Dan Rico. I have to personally that. say that the the way the face is shaped like. That is like so close to how I envisioned them in my own like artistic like vision of kobolds. That's really which cool. is fucking great. I uh, love this one in particular. That's really cool. All right, now we have a fantastic panic grim tongue top of the mountain. We're loving this real fast here. Yeah, just playing that metal. Oh, spooking. We're schmoogin'. Schmoogin'. Oh, we also have... I'm picking, I'm picking one specifically. I, unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I don't know who all these artists are. I do apologize. Uh, there's no art. I, I, I'm not getting any like, names, unfortunately. So here we I can't, because I have to scroll through to, to get it. And where we have some pretty fantastic art of the demon the demon couch. Now, this is uh, by Mason Goggle, Media, Ro Media Roads. And this is a 3D render model of... Grackles. Oh, my it's God. so good. I have an art oh boner God. right now. Um, yeah. I actually heard, I, I, I was able to talk a little bit with the artist, and apparently he's working on models for everyone. Ha! Yeah, he, he lives like five hours from me. Oh, That's pretty sweet. It's so beautiful. And we, we're, we're, oh my we're, god. <laughs> here we, here, oh, we got some stuff coming up. Guys are all being hyped up. Here we have a picture of a good boy. A picture of a very <laughs> good boy. It's a very good Drago. I love this art real fast. Which is which is the greatest comedy thing of this with with Task reading that book of the hatred, and here we go is <laughs> how I hate everybody. <laughs> it's just, uh, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. True book. Uh, that one. Okay, I can. I can. I got all the art that I'm grabbing for today. Um, sorry guys, I couldn't grab everything, but I will reblog everything so you guys can see. Um, and I, I do look at everything. That one. The one of. Panic was Dan Rico. The one of the carpet was uh, by Malverick, yeah, who's a regular for us. And then the one of of uh, Panic as the the pop star girl was by uh, Michinio, yeah, at See? Michinio. The one yeah. of uh, Tarisk with all the carpet in his mouth was by Alibaba, oh. um, at X Zachtly one hundred one. The I how I hate everyone is by PM Ghost. That's great, Ghost. Of course it is. I was like, this has to, yo, this has to be PM somehow. That is that's pretty sweet. And now this newest art is Borky hates warm colors. Hey, hey. <laughs> I love hey. Uh, that is that is by Rebecca Palacios. Thank you so at, much for the art. And here we at re, 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 R E B E P underscore O six. And here Twitter. and here we have some delicious looking trophies. Borky will still come up with what to do with those tassels at some point. But this is uh, pretty great. This is done by Nutcase. You absolute Nutcase. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is not how you trophy. This is not how you trophy. I, also, I, speaking I, speaking I, of trophy. Nutcase. Oh, uh, we're about to do. Oh yeah, we're about to do. Uh, not case le legit did like like professional. This oh god, this next art actually aggravates me how fucking cool it is, because it's Greg. Man, here we here is some. It's my it is it is my background right now. That is this is the I dream of the day. Look at look at that. This is exactly how you envision him, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. This is, this uh, is it, it's so it's so cool. It's got it's got kind of like that Gurren log on uh, in between hey, episodes. That's what, that's what it is. Yeah. And that's what it, that's what they that's what they said that the, that they were going for. There's actually a speed art 
uh, video online of this. Oh, definitely yeah. go check out. Yeah, not case not... does those fucking speed art like uh, the the from concept to end, and it's fucking awesome. Not case. I'm really excited to see what else you can do with this. This is so fucking trippy. If we ever do an art book or something, like this needs to go. An anywhere. art book. <laughs> Come oh, on. I'm I'm doing. I'm actually using Nutcase's art for my role play. Um, <gasps> you are. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Oh, I asked Nutcase. Like, she did a drawing of me behind a DM screen of me being like, huh? And so I'm using that. I'm gonna use that. For <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm just imagining this when I look at Greg. Goes, oh oh, take your nipples. <laughs> Whatever. Bad. Fucking stab Bad. a bitch. Right, here we have. I believe. Oh no. This is all right. Everyone prepare. Oh, oh, everyone prepare. Oh, everyone get here. Those. Come the feels. Here comes F two thousand. That boss battle was so epic. Also, I hope you enjoyed my song from Me Mel. Keep up the great work, everyone. By the way, Task Mel OTP twenty fifteen. Here we go. Oh man, man, I can't believe he's doing the white supremacy sign going up to heaven. It's really, it's really. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh I'm, my I'm kidding. god. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm to ruin it. I'm joking. This is actually really beautiful. Like that's actually the no worries, Rest man. Rest in peace, Marcus. Sweet. At the Rest moment in you peace, Marky sent, Sweet. The moment you guys sent him away, I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, so now it's our fault. Well, choices <laughs> have consequences. We could have had him come in with us. Oh, this is crazy, man. Yeah, but as the GM, you're a little biased Whoa. to those consequences. Yeah. Is that a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> also, also, I'm, cu Whoa. I'm curious. I know this is metagaming, but I don't care. When we opened that chest, did we alert his soul we were in his house? I'm slowly nodding, yes. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh. Did we trigger... So this could have been even longer. We could have actually fought in the actual courtyard later on, but instead we fought in the prison. There are lots of things that would have happened depending on the choices you made, yeah. I, Nadine, you're such, oh. a good, you're such a good DM. By the way, we, we need to talk to Spirit. We need to have a permanent soul gem attached to him, and he just hangs out in the front like, hi, um... That would be a fate worse than death, because that means that. he's tethered... No, he's tethered to the world as a fucking rock. Hey, man. That's, like, that's the equivalency of being dude, a vegetable... Dude, only it's, 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 it's his ultimate goal. He's gonna be stoned forever. It's Anyways, cool. I've oh always wanted to be... up, Tish. <laughs> it's cool. I've always wanted to be a rock. <laughs> also, I want to say this next piece I absolutely love. Like, I would love to see grizzled veteran versions of all our characters. This is so good. That's really great. The flying task wouldn't be six feet under. <laughs> he duck. He. he... <laughs> He died as he was. This, you see, this photo is really great because it looks like Task is like married to Borky, which is great. This is a good. This, this is <laughs> what a, in the uh, fuck? He looks. It's, it's like his arms wrapped around him. It looks so fucking adorable. This is adorable as shit. Oh my god! Put Marcus in an, an automaton. We're not going to torture a man. That is pretty great. All right, here we go, and here we have. Ooh, we got. We got some. We got a weapon. We have another picture of ooh. weapons. It's the fucking. It's the critical failure sword. <laughs> it's the critical fail dagger. That's by our, our boy Adam Luther. He That's did the um, our mandible dagger, acid dagger. That's good. That oh. is, that, that's pretty it dope. Should, no, this is incorrect. It should be on the ground 12 feet away from it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or on a or, rug. Here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here, let's, let's voice it, guys. Let's voice it. Nani? Are you kidding? Wait, hang on. It's, your, fir your first line you is, kidding? oh, God, it's a carpet. <laughs> That's you. That's Borky. Oh. Yeah, that's Borky. Oh, oh shit! I saw that. Sorry. Oh, going to copy. Nanny? Are you kidding me? What can the carpet do? Bakala! Oh, here's a knife. Mm. Yamano! <laughs> it's proficient with knives. <laughs> 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 and I give you one better. This is this next picture is official art for the greatest villain we've ever fought. Oh, oh god, he's got a fucking knife. He's got a knife. <laughs> I just imagined like police officers surrounding the carpet. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. <laughs> so put the knife down. Oh, Come sir, on, motherfucker. Sir, 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 you're gonna have to leave the Walmart, sir. Sir, you're gonna have to leave the Walmart. <laughs> ah, this, fuck you. The comic is by Dr. Jose Lee um, at Dr. Jolie underscore. And that carpet picture is by our boy King of Citrus again. King of Citrus, you oh, mother. God. King of Citrus. That's just, this is the it's the middle finger. It's <laughs> look at look at the inside. It's a face. It is. It is. It is. Oh my god. It is. 
<laughs> Can I just say this is amazing considering he's they, 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 these artists have only had like an hour tops. I was gonna say we this. already have someone who did a signpost of the sweet dragon too. Oh my god! Oh, shit! I'll post that because that was like instant. And here Jeez. is, and this is really what is this I'm seeing with the pat with the it's, with mo the it's mosaic art there. Oh, it's really. Yo, what? Oh, mosaic art. Oh, I remember this. This was in my Discord. Someone showed this before. Yo, so cool. thank you. This is so cool, you guys. Ah, I'm always blushing like crazy about these. This is. Yeah, and then we have the the most recent one. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else stand out in that I. If anyone, I like I said, we don't. We have so much. We have so much different stuff. I'm gonna read. And it's going all of to it. only just eke in within the next few hours. Yeah, no, yeah. We're, we're gonna get a lot of yeah. really cool stuff, and we're gonna definitely try and tweet those out too. We are gonna try and set up an art. We gotta do an art. We gotta do an art special, Gene. We gotta, we gotta. I will. I know we do. If that's just a curse, though, because you know fires and all that. Oh yeah. Um, I know, I know. I'm trying to get one free. There's, a, there's an always sunny in Alavast. Thank you. I, I'm, yes. yeah, bring it up here. No, this Please. is. Please, you have to. Okay, so I'll... Oh. Out this is. This oh is, dear. This is so great. Where is it? I have, <laughs> and, more, have... and more schmoogin. And more. Sh is, this, is this also? Sh is it... This is battery batty, and here it is. Dun 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 dun. Why is Task Danny? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, that that's fair. I just imagine Task going. I just like I like banging whores. <laughs> is is, can, is I, can I give you a nice arrow in these trying times? Say what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of. Because <laughs> you know I'm really ripped today because I really got my pump on. I'm the trash man. I'm the trash. <laughs> eat garbage. We got another piece of art here. Oh, this is. This is oh, this art is fucking trippy as shit. Now then you just post it. We gotta we'll get some schmoogin here, which is great. We actually have like five more submissions here. We're gonna pull up here, guys. This is fucking dope. We have schmoogin here. We have schmoogin, Tarsk. Actually, here you go. Read, read. Here you go. Here, Tarsk. I got you some indoor shoes so you won't scuff Helga's floor. I got them enchanted for you too. <laughs> here comes a special boy. Here comes, here comes a special boy. boy. Here comes a special it boy. It needs little jingle bells. Here comes a special boy. <laughs> Here comes a special boy. They're good dragos task. The good dragos task. Uh, now this is from awesome. devious underscore shadow. No, is it? Who, is this a? Who, who is this picture of? Actually, I'm not. Is That's this... probate. Oh. Oh. Pro the bit wizard. The bit wiz. Oh, this is dope. Probate. Look what you got, man. If it wasn't for his initial funding, we wouldn't have actually had this get on, get on this off the ground initially. Because you had to put so much time into this, Denise. So again, Probate, thank you so much for putting that initial investment, dude. And here is some delicious, delicious fan art for you. This is fucking cool. It's really, I love the lighting on that one. Oh, that looks mm -hmm. that's, that's trippy as hell. I'm the Bit Wizard. <laughs> that's good. What how? There we go, the Bitmancer. Oh, is, it, Pro, is, is Probate even in the chat? Is, I saw him. I saw him in the. He there was before. before. Oh, oh, did he have to go? Oh, oh we'll, we'll definitely. Dude, no, dude, I will show him. He's in my Discord. I'll oh, show him oh, yeah. this. I, please, please do, because like, this is amazing. All right, and we have this next art by Nari Tazuma. This is, oh man, Task is getting some of the kick ass fucking art. I'm fucking so... still. Yo, and this is when they actually realize Probate's that Task here. has wounds. Oh, he's Probate's here? here. Probate, yeah. oh, Probate. Probate. Oh, wait, wait, can we get, get the Probate. bit? Okay, get good. The bit wizard up. Did, Probate... did Probate... Probate. Probate see it? Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. All right, probate. Someone did an artist, for, uh, artist for you for helping fund the unexpectables, dude. There you go, probate the mighty bit wizard. <laughs> Room is in slowdown mode, but here you go, man. This is really cool. Thank you so much for the art, devious underscore shadow. I've seen bit wizard. He, I've Yo, seen it. So his, so his magic ward is the gold bit star. Ah, oh, it's <laughs> nice. I love, love it. it. He, he's, he's like, I love it. I love it. This is dope. All right, here and this is the, I gotta talk about N Nari Tazuma. This is fucking cool as shit. Okay, so this is just it's still havity possessing task. And what's oh. even better? What's even better is that the the artist got the fact that I made task have like wounds underneath the armor, which I'm actually surprised has never come up into question yet in game. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things we haven't brought up in game that has not mm. actually casually come up well, because no one's yeah, he's never. Yeah, but I, for for like safety's sake, I was just like, okay, there's a lot of people. 
Originally, that picture was for me saying, okay, a lot of people think Task has horns. No, it's just part of the helmet. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's add a little bit more tidbits. We now have the greatest art ever by at 7 Johnny 7 Doom 7. We have, yes! We have the, oh, the, we, we have the final. The good dog. The good dra it's a good Drago. And you, you want to know what's best? Read what it says. Enjoying the unexpected, so I sketched out Tarisk. Fuck you, that's a sketch? That's a sketch. <laughs> I'm going to click follow for this. Oh, I can't follow on here. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to, like, look at this. Look, look, at, look at this. Oh, this, this so is, pretty. This is so amazing. His eye is out. perfect. He looks He looks like he'd stum. He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, just, good dog. I, I imagine its whole head just, I imagine its whole mouth just going a complete, uh, a complete Rock. 90 degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I imagine full charm. Oh, right. Oh, and here we go. We have some Greckles fan art, which is so fan. No, it's, this is, this is Salvador. Yeah, this is we, Salvador, buddy. We, there's a lot of Salvador fan art. He might have to come back. And here we go. Yeah, Salvador. unfortunately, he has to come back. <laughs> I feel like I'm like wounded. Bring your wounded. Um, with that, I'd actually, could I do a shout out real quick? Absolutely. Yeah. Friggin' lootly. And we got a big person going to shout out. I think I know who you're going to shout out. Yeah. Um, so for, we started the Wikia, for those of you who don't know, it's currently pinned to the Twitter. We have the Unexpectables Wikia. There's two people who, um, I left the Wikia and I came back and there are two people working on it, uh, who I think stand out for being extremely important to the, the organization of the Wikia. I'd like to sh give a shout out to Hafar. Um, and Voltac 2. They took the Wikia from the garbage that I presented it as, and they've made it completely usable now. It it's come out great. It's got trivia. It's got like character information. So if you're you know if you know someone who's just jumping in and they're like, who's this character? You can send them that way. Um, there's also we've we've selected some art to put in there, uh, fan art and official arts there. So if you're an artist and you're like, I don't know what Doros looks like, you can actually find artwork there. Um, all we ask is that you guys follow the guidelines for posting. Uh, do not post images. Um, if you wouldn't mind, we're trying to keep that organized because people are posting images into the actual, um, like, pages, not in, like, the info boxes. And the info boxes, there's, if there's art there, um, I'm the one who changes that out. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you guys can look that up if you're an artist, you want some references. Um, I also have a few people who should hopefully be checking on it every once in a while if I can't and I get busy, so... That is a thing. It's working out really, really well. Um, and I hope you guys like it. I, I, I had a lot of people request it. I had tons of messages coming in. And so hopefully this is a tool that people um, make use of and enjoy. So, oh, it's really, yeah. It's really cool, Nadine. This is pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, could I make a second shout out? Sorry. Oh, of course. I think I, think, I, think I know who you're going to shout out. I, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to... Um, uh, Wait, who are you thinking I'm going to give a shout out Jack, to? Uh, Jack, who did the art, the amazing yes, art. Yes, that art. was it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jack, Jack, uh, that art, Jack, um, as in uh, maker of dreams, he did the art for, Dol for Dolmar. I still have to pay him for it. But um, yeah. he did that. He did like four or five revamped versions of that too. He made that come out. I'm going to switch back over to that actually. Um, Star Exorcist was, was away at a convention, which is fine. Um, I didn't cry at all. I didn't miss her. I missed her a lot. She missed you. Uh, this is, I missed this her is a lot. legit. This is so cool. Like this character looks he looks petrifying and I can't believe our silly goons fought him. We fought this like this guy literally looks like like, a, like the vulture meets uh, Ultron meets a fucking Dark Souls boss. Yeah, yeah, he he looks a lot like what you would find in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. This is really fucking this cool. This is so so goddamn cool. I'm so Um happy. This creature variant, I call him Soul Concentrate because it's a a concentrated soul in a item. This, oh, the villains are fucking terrifying in this game, by the way. Like this 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 campaign, they're legitimately petrifying. Yeah, I, I approached the art jack and I'm like, so I need you to make me a construct that's not a construct but a statue, but is kind of moving. Can you do that? And art jack's like, okay, <laughs> like I got this, and I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He did yeah. a fantastic job with this, and every time I got sad, I looked at it when I was at work. So, Aww. it's 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 well, it's really it's really like oh man, I'm just I'm losing my I, I lose my shit every time I say the art. I'm just it's, I'm, hearing, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. In the in the in the chat, Bracky goes defeated by four level two goons, and I said you're forgetting Taurus. He's like, do we really count the negative the crit failing bird? 
<gasps> oh, oh shit! No, no. Oh, oh Greckles no. threw darts. He threw darts. I, I, uh, I actually no. I want to say this. I drew first blood, and uh -huh. yeah. I don't know. I, I get yeah. who did damage that. Okay, uh, so you. there was. We all did damage. Yeah, we all did. Actually. Okay. No, we all did damage. We all no, did damage. it's okay. It's okay. We all. Greckles, you're a better ninja when you're in the shade. Yeah, that's oh, the other thing, Nadine. You keep putting us in fights where I have nowhere to hide. <laughs> well, start having sorry. start having convenient chest high walls and trees for him. Goodness sake, Nadine. <laughs> he needs to hide behind them and regain his health like a coward. Oh, Why don't worry. You... Don't a worry, living coward. <laughs> Yep. Don't don't worry, Greckles. Or uh, uh, I'll I'll. Have I'm some... making a note: more open areas, <laughs> direct sunlight, cursed item known as spotlight will always shine a spotlight on the person wearing it. One, there one. we go. Problem this? solved. How about this? One v one v one. We final destination. See what happens. Fox only. We no Falco only because you're a bird. You, you, he now wears fucking boots that every time he takes a step and it goes wee woo. <laughs> He's, he wears like a he wears like a like an outfit that's like covered in like those sequin like jewels or whatever. He comes out as a, he he comes a... out as a no, no comes out as a clown. You're all stupid. They're gonna be looking for a ninja. <laughs> I, yeah, just just trying to sneak up behind somebody. I just I, I I imagine the left foot goes wee and the right foot goes woo. So he just goes. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. You all made me sad. I kicked ass last time. You did. No, you did. No one said anything. I, I, no, no, no. What? I, 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 I fucking said you kicked some serious ass last time. You, you had, you, do, you wrecked that. You, no, you and me. Wrecked okay, it. let's be real here. A lot of us are getting time in the sun. Panic got a lot of time in the sun yeah. in this one. Yeah, and Panic the good, the good boy. Him. The good Panic, boy. Panic but, and but the, the good boy. But the problem is, is that I can't take credit for that because he's an NPC. I know. And it be, to be fair, did we all roll critical fails at one point, or was yes, it just yeah. me? Yeah, oh, we all did. We all did. I think I we think all did. Did Borky roll one? Yeah, I did too. Yeah. And even oh. Dolmar rolled a negative, like a natural one. Yeah. Like it was a nat one night. <laughs> by the way, that was I a nat one, a nat one that killed him. Yeah, I was gonna say. By the way, um, I think it, the way he died was perfect because he has no combat training, so his positioning, I just made it absolutely garbage. Ha. Huh. Yes. And that was exactly that what went wrong for him. That makes complete sense. Yeah, he has learn magic, so it's just like, what? <laughs> but a smoke guy, he's sure is dumb. Hey, hey. Hey, guys, this was an amazing session, Nadine. Holy shit. Oh, I can't, yeah. I'm so curious to see. I think I just heard the Alavast Festival. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what do I wear? I want <laughs> my god to wear <gasps> nothing. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> You, you you get hodgepodge something together with all those freaking gnome clothes we have. I want him man, to attach man. gnome. I want him to just put a gnome coat around his shoulder. That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> so that this is where we introduce fucking noble task. The drawing I did because that's happening. I think we should spend our money on nice fancy clothes to go to the next fancy well, thing. Yeah. Borky wants a fitted suit. It's, I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but it's not like, oh, we're going to dine with the, it's like literally like carnival games and stuff. I, I, I am quite excited. I'm actually really excited. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, guys, I think from all of us here at the Unexpectables, I want to thank Nadine again for being an amazing DM and having a great story. Right. Holy shit. And of course, to my fellow castmates and all the artists who did some work. Just holy shit, guys. Yeah, all the art's been fantastic. I will reblog every, every blog, retweet everything. Yeah, make um, sure you guys put in the uh, at the unexpectables because some of you put hashtag at unexpectables. We are more than likely able to see it if you do at the unexpectables. Yeah, I've been checking the hashtag one, but I don't check in as often as I should. Sorry. So if you directly tweet it at the unexpectables, I will for sure see it. Alrighty, guys. They forgot the spear. No, we grabbed the spear. I said, remind me, grab the spear. And, and they, they did off screen, chip the eyes. All right, guys, say good night. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to click stop streaming.